<laughs> it was this time, not the cat, Marcus. Yeah, this was all my, you know. Mm, blame right. the cat, blame the I, cat. Well, it's a good thing to blame. Uh, well, good evening, everyone. Uh, sorry about that. It took about a few seconds longer than I expected to start this stream. Uh, luckily, I'm very quick, apparently. Um, uh, let's see. Give me a second here. I'm sure everything's off. There we go. Hey! Whew. Here we are. Good evening. Uh, and welcome to, to, to this stream um, where we now have, uh, as always, Annika with us from Socially Awkward. Hello. Hello. And tonight we have the honor to have Dominic with us again. Thank you very much for joining us, Dominic. Oh, no problem. No problem. <laughs> See? No Never problem. a problem. Never a chore. Always a pleasure. <laughs> All right? So, yeah. Perfect. Um, it's been a bit of a week for me. Uh, however, I am here uh, in, in full fettle and all good. Um, other than that, I haven't really done much on the bench. I did a little bit last night at uh, Kids and Bits stream um, on my, uh, my, my tank. But other than that, I haven't really done much, if I can recall. Oh. Annika, what about you? Have you done something this week? Well, I well, I know you have. Well, I haven't done anything on on on, on the predator. He's Good. been resting on my desk. Yeah, but I have been experimenting with some other stuff, and, but, uh, and um, uh, let me put you full screen so we all can see what you have been doing. Right, right. Well, I've been experimenting a little bit with uh, a lot of. Aha! Look at that! <laughs> oh wow, fun. that's fantastic! <laughs> we 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 got we, we in this community. We just uh, we paint stuff and it, we weather it and we use so hundred hundred many things to to make things look good. Nothing like that. So awesome stuff. Thank it's you. not finished yet though, but. Uh... That's about yeah. as far as I got. That, this hasn't taken that long, actually. It was like three days or something. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Yeah, well that's, done. That's, that's, that's okay. And uh, uh, I was also working, trying to, you know, work a little bit on my own sketching skills. <laughs> 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 I, I have a really hard time getting past the ugly face of my drawings, actually. The ugly face? Yes. There's a specific time when you you know start drawing or i'm sorry or coloring or anything like that when everything does it doesn't look that nice it's uh, you know extra lines everywhere and blah, 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 blah. and uh, <laughs> i believe it <laughs> no the thing is well, I, I struggle with with with, uh, with sketching because i don't i don't like that ugly face because i, I mm. <laughs> It's it's a bit too messy, and I, I'm trying to work to get past that point. Oh, I think you're doing to, a great uh, job. Yeah, I'm actually. This is sort of not exactly very good sketching because I'm drawing actually a bit too much, not sketching. <laughs> <laughs> I'm being a bit too precise from the beginning. I, That's I, think, the I think you're also being very picky on yourself. Yes, uh, I am very picky on myself. That's yeah. that's the thing. That's uh, I don't like things that they get messy, and uh, when you sketch, you uh, you're you are gonna be messy with your lines and stuff because you're actually not aiming to be specific in the beginning. Yeah, it's more like like oh, it's a bit like that, a bit like that, a bit like that. And now that's the part that I have a really hard time with because it, it turns into a bit of a mess, and then you have to sort out which lines you actually want. Uh, <laughs> Okay. <laughs> but uh, I, I want to do that. I want to learn better how to do that. And because um, just what I've usually done is just draw things straight up. And, but then you go and make a mistake and you screw something up. And then you, okay, you can just throw it all away because you've, you've been too specific with your lines from the beginning. <laughs> Very nice. Well, thank you, Annika. You know, it looks amazing. Uh, I hope you get over your uh, your ugly face. I don't know that expression. I don't like saying it all. Um, <laughs> it's like, what? <laughs> um, then we have Don with us. How are you doing and what have you been up to? Uh, I am building a 
different things. But what I do tonight is uh, really easy. Uh, Ooh, I go up. paint Ooh, figures. Oh, nice. Little dudes. Little dudes. Yeah, uh, this camera is not the best. I, I changed my camera is better. Oh, okay. On this one. Oh, there we go. Oh, let's come focus. On. Focus, come on. Here we go. Here we go. German? Uh, no. This is hmm. Africa. Africa. Uh, yeah. That looks I, great. Yeah, I uh, paint the figures for my desert diorama. Oh, yeah. You spoke about that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Short pants. And... and Tonight I go paint this one. Oh, he is uh, primed, and he is ready for color. He's ready to go. Yeah, and then uh, and I fix a couple of pieces here. You see, on the back side, you see uh, it's not really good to paint. Okay. So I paint it again. Ah, okay. I see. You yeah. see the gray colors. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, dus uh, I paint it again. Dus I go fix that tonight. Okay. Very good. Yeah. Yeah. Well, thanks, Tom, for that. Yeah, no problem. So, what would I'll, what will I be doing? So, well, I told you I was working on my, my tank. Uh, I'll go to Gallant Camden and show you guys. It's not much to see, but you know, it's all green and you know. There you go. So, yeah, as I said, I was, I was working on this one with, with on Tab Stream uh, yesterday. I've done a little bit of dirtying it up. Dom said it was too much, but I'm not so sure. Um, you know, it's very Here's the question. Guy, that one. Do you like it? I like it, you know. Then it's yeah. not too much. Well, he's got a point here, I think. But, yes. you know, it's okay. They could have uh, climbed it up here and walked a lot here and made a lot of dirt. So I can understand that. Yeah, do do a couple of extra colors. Uh, dirt, uh, people walking there. Yeah. Uh, make feet prints feet from prints. the shoes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I see what you mean. I have special. Uh, I have special parts for it. Uh, where is it? Oh. <clears throat> dudes got special parts. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I have somewhere. Uh, it's really close to me. I'm sure. <laughs> oh, there we are. Uh, I look. I look a little bit later for it in the. Yeah, in the yeah, no worries. Can I no find worries. it really fast? I still have detailing and stuff like that. Then uh, after that, I'm gonna do um, some uh, gloss coats, and then I can do some heavy weathering on, on top of that. So this was just to kind of make it look less bland, I think. You know. <laughs> so we're getting there. Right. Uh, let's see. What the? What is that? Okay, never mind. So let me go to chat and see who is with us tonight. Well, first we have David Markey and say good evening, Marcus, Annika, and evening, folks. So, hey, David Markey, uh, good to see you. Always here, always early. Great. And then we have Quano Man. Peekaboo, mm -hmm. I see you. Uh, Quano also says, why is Marcus dancing in them freely knickers? No, I'm not. Who, 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 why? Why, Quano? Why? Now I know uh, what he's imagining. <laughs> Quan also says, note to self, don't hack the stream. Can ever again. Oh, oh dear. Then uh, David and Quan says hello to each other. Uh, and then David says hello to Dominic. TBG is in, says hello to everyone. Hey, Dom. Uh, TBG, sorry. <laughs> um, <laughs> then we got Jeff Light in as well. Uh, a very good evening, Marcus, Annika, Dom, and everyone in chat. That's fantastic. Then we got Athol in again saying, hello, is that Dom? I expected to be going to bed. Evening, Marcus and Annika. Oh, hello, Athol. <laughs> Hope to see you. Uh, then we got uh, TBG uh, saying, Dom got lost on the way to his bed, lol. <laughs> I was saying good evening, Jeff and Maggie. 
Um, and then we have TBG saying hi, Athol, uh, Jess, and uh, Maggie, and everyone saying hello to everyone. And then we have TBG says, uh, Marcus, is this in his bushy face? Yeah, I guess it's my bushy face at the moment. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, then we have Colin in. Hey, Colin. Hi, Marcus. Uh, and he says hello to everyone. So really good to see you, Colin. Um, good to see you here again. It's been a while. Um, I heard a rumor that you might be streaming tomorrow uh, tomorrow afternoon again. That would be fantastic. I got loads of pictures this time. Hopefully you got some time. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, then everyone says hello to Colin. And Quando says, oh, yeah, Marcus, show us your dirty bits. No, I'm not going to show you. Well, I do have some dirty bits I can show, but not those kind of bits. Naughty. Uh, and then... Uh, um, then we got Graham McRobert in. Hey, Graham. Good to see you, man. Hope you're doing okay. No, not too bad. Um, best wishes and everything. And I think... Oh, damn, Quano. Uh, I meant on the tank, by the way. Yeah, okay, Quano. Yeah, it's dirty. Very dirty. <laughs> and Colin says, yes, gallery day tomorrow. Fantastic. Good to hear. Miss your stream, buddy. You know, if you haven't seen it before, go to uh, Festa 67's workshop uh, and then join the subscribe and cherish this stream because it's a really fun stream with lots of quality people. Uh, lots of great work. The gallery itself is, is fantastic. That, you know, gets to show you how far behind you are, but, you know, that's just how it is. And uh, gives you lots of tips and stuff like that. Oh. Right. So, what was I gonna do with this one again? Um, oh, oh, dropping my chippies. Oh, don't drop your chippies. No, don't drop my chippies. No, don't do that. Sorry, just feel a bit snacky. Yeah, go, go right ahead. I might do some brown. Yeah. Might do some, what? There's my this? dude. Check it. Oh, look at that. Hold on. I need to put you in full screen for this one. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, wow. Well, it, it wasn't long ago. You were just, oh, this is the shoulder. And then you hadn't done anything. And look at now you've got the full <laughs> eight pack and everything. And whatever an eight pack is. But these are the 80s. You know, there we go. A rib cage. It's the armor that looks like that. Maybe it's just not that fit underneath. Maybe it's a dad, <laughs> a dad bod under that. Maybe. You, know? you never know. But nothing wrong with dad bod. <laughs> An alien dad bod. But I have to say, it looks amazing. I love the light uh, that comes in on the left side there. You know, it kind of gives you a really nice shot. To... I'm actually wondering if I should uh, start a little bit on the background up here today because um... oh. <clears throat> I don't know. I kind oh, of feel like it. Well, feel do whatever you like. No one's going to say no. You but, can't yeah. do that. You have to finish this. No, who gives a crap? Just do what you feel like doing, right? Uh, no, don't sound like that. <laughs> like, I don't know. Oh. Well, at one part of me it tells me that I want to finish the dude first, but uh, I don't know. Well, sure, if that's. I'm sure the dude would like that too. So, I, I, up I, to I, you. I guess. I guess it doesn't really matter. You're going to be painting. I'm going to be drawing a little bit here, anyways. <laughs> oh, that's fantastic! <laughs> what? <laughs> My weird reasoning. There's nothing wrong with your reasoning. You're doing the thing, so do the thing. I do the thing, and with the stuff, and you know. <laughs> well, I can't do the thing, so you have to do the thing. Ah. Uh -huh. This YouTube channel, and I don't have a YouTube channel. I just hang out on Marcus' channel. Oh, yeah, this is a uh, Colin's very, 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 very subtle uh, way of telling you to start your own channel. <laughs> <laughs> he did this for me for a year <laughs> until I started this. So I made, so, uh, he, I, should I made prepare him, he should prepare himself for continuing for another year for me, then. I guess. <laughs> I've asked you too, but you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So uh, let's see. Uh, 
uh, uh, oh, we got JC Briggs and Bills in as well. Said evening, Marcus, Dom, and Annika, and all in chat. So, hey, JC, thank you for coming in. Good to see you. Um, Graham says, Hi, Fessa. Sorry I left, but I had to. Hope you understand, mate. Plus, health ain't getting better. Yeah, it's okay. We, we still got you, Graham. Don't worry about it. Um, Jeff says, uh, he's looking totally awesome, man. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. That's the, sh sh the short word. Yeah. Uh, and then Colin says, uh, I will nag you until you do, lol. Ask Marcus. I won't give up. No, he won't. <laughs> it's, it's the, he, you might think you're in the clear. He might be quiet for a week or two, and then just hits you like a broom. I believe you. <laughs> However, there's no guarantee I will be listening. <laughs> Most likely not. Um, <laughs> we have Wayne in as well, saying hello to everyone. So, good evening, Wayne. Thank you for showing. Uh uh, and then everyone says hello to everyone. So uh, I think we're all caught up. Athol says hello to Wayne as well. There we go. Right now, oh, gunmetal. Yeah, let's use gunmetal. Uh, and then we need, I think, a little bit of brown for the four candles. No, uh, axe handles and the shovels. And then I think it's ready for, for a gloss coat, so I can do some uh, detailing and weathering and decaling. Oh, I can do the oh the clear parts as well. Ooh, oh, that looks let's horrible. See, let's see. Let's see. All right, let's do that. Yeah. All right. I think hmm. I know what I need to do. I need a reference picture of the barrel of this uh, cannon. No, not cannon, the, the machine gun. Either it was painted in green or it was actually uh, black. So I'm going to have to check that out. Uh, TBG says, hi, TT. Saw your sister streaming earlier. Uh, Wayne says, I'm missing the black pearl swear jar. It's been a while. Well, I'll tell you what. I'm going to show you the... Well, there's the swear jar for the black pearl. Oh, there's Thank treasure you. inside. It should be a treasure chest. You should yeah. have made it a treasure chest. I'll put it here so Wayne can see it. Now, I know what he means by he hates not seeing the, the black pearl. Okay, I can I can also show you that. Here she, um, here she is in all her glory. You see? There's a lot of paperwork on top of the thingamajigs. There you go. Um, That's a lot of pieces. Tell you what. Uh, next Saturday... I will do a cons I'll be doing a, a concerted effort on this uh, thing. I hope you will be showing then. Uh, then I'll be trying to do some of this black pearl. As you can see, this is far as I gotten, which is one of the decks. One gun has already fallen off. Um, I think so. There we go. And then uh, everything can go back to normal. Uh, I get to lose my mind for a couple hours, cry, whatever. There we go. If that's what you want to see, I will provide. Yeah. Right. Back to business. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Wayne says, you lost me, James. Uh, Kono says, now I think Marcus should do some of that shit because we all know he loves it. Well, as I said, Kono, next Saturday I will psych myself up to, to uh, do this uh, or continue to, 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 you know, shame myself and embarrass myself online. So please join in then. Awesome. Yeah. So no difference than uh, uh, regular no, Saturday. It's not really. <laughs> it's just me uh, using a lot of other words than than my regular words, which wouldn't be a problem. Right. Uh, Ross is not coming back, not yet. Not yet. He is busy. Uh, he is actually uh, he's remodeling a um, uh, his house a little bit, so he's moving his current um, uh, working area up to his loft. So he's doing that. So when he comes back. He will have a brand new area where he can have everything he wants to 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 continue his modeling efforts. So I'm looking forward to that. 
Okay. It just takes a little bit of time. Uh, TBG says, uh, uh, Wayne Willie. Uh, TBG says, Wayne Willie, uh, little history in drag. Oh, crap. Uh, Colin says, right, folks, heading off. We'll watch back the rest. Hey, thank you for showing up, Colin. Much appreciated. Yeah, nice uh, to see you. Here. You have a nice rest, buddy. Uh, and uh, I'll uh, see you tomorrow. Bye-bye. <clears throat> I'm, <laughs> yeah, I'm not waving like a little kid. Bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs> then Wayne says, oh, now I got you. Uh, and then Athel says, you take care, Colin. See you tomorrow. Uh, and then Bron says, good night to Colin. So, yeah, great to see Colin in. Yeah. He had a bit of a rest. And now we're going to stream again tomorrow. So that's fantastic news. Well, rest well, every now and then. Yeah. Huh. Interesting. There we go. Right. I was going to check up on the... I actually oh. felt like I needed rest to put in for some uh, extra vacation. Oh, wow. Well, that's good for you, man. Eh? Yeah. Couldn't get everything I wanted, but... No. No, I was going to try to get off for the May vacancy for uh, when uh, Kian's off from school. Yeah. And uh, he said, no problem. The thing is, I work in two departments now. So I work in the, in the cleaning department and I also give swimming lessons. Yeah. Now, uh, getting free from the cleaning department, not so much of a problem. Just that wasn't, uh, they could sort that. However, they didn't have, I don't have anyone to replace me for my swimming lessons. <coughs> Okay. But I only give swimming lessons one day a week. So it's uh, three hours one day a week at the moment. Yeah. So I said, well, okay, but if I have the rest of the week off, I can come in and do those three hours. And it's good. All right. Oh, yes, 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 yes. yes you. <laughs> Happy faces. So. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Is that the compromise then? Okay. <laughs> I don't have to get up at four. <laughs> No, that's good. Come on, why is my Wi-Fi so crap? For some reason. I don't know. No, I don't know either. It's Ask your provider. Great. Yeah, no, the provider has nothing to do with my Wi-Fi, I don't think. I might need a new... Um, Router? Yeah, or an updated one. We could use one what's of those the, what's booster the provider, things. What is the provider that you have, Marcus? Copy in, because they were the only one who could uh, provide the uh, fiber in this area. Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah. Come on. Oh. Yeah, we have that now, too. We can uh, switch over to that yeah. if we want. Yeah, we have uh, now the cable directly in my house. Yeah, exactly. I have the same. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Much better. Yeah, okay. Much uh, we have it now a couple of weeks, but I, I have not KPN. I have Sigo. Yeah, uh, at the time when I bought the house, only KPN had uh, uh, fiber to the house available. Uh, KPN, uh, say, Sigo uh, might might have it now. I might have Check. to. I might have to have a look, see if maybe changing a provider is a is a good one. <clears throat> yeah, that was uh, last week. Uh, no, last Thursday, Friday, yeah. was uh, uh, a man from uh, KPN on my door. For we have a really good deal for you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you and the no next really week, don't. and the next week, it's a different company, and the week after that, it's a different company. They all have the same deal for some reason. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, they've been cruising around our neighborhood as well. Yeah, but the problem is, I I do streams. Is what I want. I yeah. want from uh, from the modem to my PC. I want the cable. Yeah. Yeah, yeah? and to Daniel the PC, I want the cable. And then I change. Then I need another cable to my uh, uh, TV thing. Yeah. Uh, and then I need uh, drill. Six or seven holes in in the wall. Oh, really? You don't have any uh, like old uh, 
old landline uh, stuff going to these rooms? No, no. We have directly a new uh, uh, Faisal uh, cable. Okay. Uh, that is directly in my uh, power. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, but so what I did when they pulled fiber, so I got fiber to my electrical cabinet. That's where yeah. the router is, right? And from there, I have to pull my own cables, right? Uh, if you want to have hardwire and not yeah, but then I need then I need all the cables to my living room, and then in the hallway we have that uh, power closet. Yeah. Then I drill a hole to another closet, and then I drill a hole to another closet, and then yeah. I drill a hole to my living room. And that is for for me, I think 10 meters. Yeah. And then to Danielle is five meters extra. Yeah, okay, yeah. sorry. So what I did, I, I, I pulled out all the old landline cables that's in some houses still apparently. Uh I pulled them out and I put put a five cat uh, cat 5B at the time, a cable okay. in, in in each of these uh um, conduits that goes to the landline so instead of having landline socket on the wall it's now a usb socket uh or a, not a usb uh, uh, an ethernet cable uh, socket so i have that in all okay. so that i pulled to all the rooms so i pulled out the old cable and replaced it with the the, the one i wanted basically so it all converges in my electrical cabinet so i have oh, okay yeah, I just bought a roll of, of uh, Cat 5B cable, the Ethernet cable, and, and the, the connectors, and I made the cables myself, whatever length I needed. So it's pretty cool to be able to know how to do that. Yeah, that is. And it's very easy. I mean, if we can build this and weather shit like this, we can pull a cable. Uh, trust me, you can do it. <laughs> <laughs> We had to pull cables in our house as well. This, yeah. um, I don't know. It's, if you can run your computer over internet on cable, then that's preferable to uh, to Wi-Fi. Yeah. I think it's that everything else that you have is nice to have on Wi-Fi. Yeah. But uh, we had the the cable came in at the corner of our living room where the phone cable came in. That pulled it in through the same. The old, where the old phone cable came in. Yeah. And that's also where the old TV, uh, analog TV cable. Oh, yeah, that one as well. That, that's a big yeah. old uh, thing. So that's it's perfect yeah. to pull uh, cables through. <laughs> so it came out. But, so we had to pull uh, cables from there to the all the way through the uh, living room to the up opposite side, to the back side of the living room, and then straight up through the floor. Mm. So we had to drill a big hole in the floor. <laughs> And yeah. then it came up in our bedroom, and then one hole through the wall. Yeah. Uh, but now that I've put in new floors in the living room, I have neatly hidden all the cables under the floor. <laughs> Ooh, under the floor? Can you still ask? If they break, can you still pull them out? Uh, yeah, I okay. can actually. I like that. Yeah. <laughs> there is, uh, there is, yeah, there is actually. Uh, if if they break, then you know I'll just cut the connectors off and then just pull the cables out. Yes, yeah. there it's the floor isn't glued, it's just uh, what it called. Um, it's a laminate, it's, right? it's yeah, it's a laminate, it's an IKEA floor, yeah. And uh, nice. the cables are basically they're, they're covered by a little what it called a little sticky list, the list thing to, to hide the gap between the floorboards and the wall. Yeah. I've tucked yeah. the cables in under that list. Ah, okay, yeah, so there's just a plinth. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, print. yeah. Print. So, and, and it's just one of these. It's just stuck with a sticker. So it's. Uh, oh, got prints with stickers. Yeah, they're from IKEA. Yeah. Nice. It's it's just, they're small. They're just like uh, three centimeters, two two and a half centimeters, or something wide. Mm. So it just covers the, the 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 those cracks that you know end up. That you make between the between the floorboards and the wall, you know. <laughs> that. Yeah. Uh, then we have Athol saying, "Big uh, woodworms Dom has in his house, eating out where he needs cabling." Yeah, definitely. Uh, you you just hire these woodworms; they go exactly where you want to, and you pull a cable right after. They can even pull the cable for you. It's fantastic. 
And then we got Colin Man saying, Oh, Marcus, you can bet your bottom dollar that I know how to pull a cable. Tee hee 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 hee. There we go. Love you too, Quano. Uh, then we got Graham saying, Oi, Quano, it's me. Uh, is it me or you only gay in the village? Lol. Uh oh. Cat's out of the bag. <laughs> well, wait a minute. Did I actually use up one more, a marker already? Wow. Yeah. <laughs> and I think Jeff also said, uh, is, if if Drim's joining later, well, Drim, Drim uh, is maybe, I don't know, I'm, I've been trying to get him to, uh, to to join us. I'm going to send him another message. Say, oi, you, oi, 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 you, old bastard. Bastardo. Oh. Bastardo. Bastardo. <laughs> uh, Homer. Do e. Well. Heart, 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 heart. There you go. All right. So I've sent him the link during the week. So he should be. Uh, he should be aware. Colin says, I'm not gay, just sort of a chipper. <laughs> yeah. Oh, he's also, so you're that kind of gay. As in you. F full flare, kind of a gay. I don't know. <laughs> right. Mm -hmm. Let's do some silver on these lights. Okay, there we go. Before we put the... Stuff on. There you go. I'll do. Parts falling off. I love it. What is this? Focus, focus. <laughs> yes, a little bit. Of, oh, bollocks. <laughs> Trying to paint within the lines. I'm not that kind of guy, you know. Oh, shit. Maybe I should be. Well, that looks all right. Let's do it over there. Well, I had to break out an entirely new marker here. <gasps> A new marker. Mm. There we are. Luckily, these weren't so that expensive. Hmm, that looks interesting. No, that one should probably be green. So. There we go. What's that? <clears throat> that one is loose. Great. All right. Great, great, great. Graham says, Cornell buckled. <laughs> okay. So, why not run with an old classic? What's on your, your bench? What's in your belly? Uh, your beverage of choice? And maybe a plan for your Sunday, huh? I'll tell you all about mine in Ooh. a second. Well, what's in my belly is uh, chicken. Grilled chicken. I was in the mood for that today. So what did you have with your grilled chicken? Just oh, chicken or... most, well, some veggies. A bit of paprika and tomatoes and cucumbers and uh, 
a little bit of French fries as well. Oh, there we go. That's nice. Yeah, I also had to make French fries for my son because, you know, he wanted those. So uh, then I kind of felt like, oh, I want some too. <laughs> yeah. Do you have a recipe for good old oven uh, grilled chicken, or is it just uh, shove it in the oven? Toss some uh, spices on top of it and shove it in the oven for shove until it it's in done. The oven. <laughs> Nothing fancy, it's just like chicken legs. Ah. Oh, chicken legs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. got it. The fuck. What's on your bench? We can all see. It's an yeah, alien. It's, a... <laughs> it, it's the, the, the predator. The predator? A predator. <laughs> yeah. Um, I'm starting a bit on the background, at least in this area here. And uh, What's just... your beverage of choice tonight? Uh, it wasn't cool. wine last time because you gave no, it wasn't wine. No, it wasn't wine. Uh, I actually don't have any wine. I haven't bought, bought any. I'm still drinking. I'm sticking to cola. Ah. Actually. Yeah. And that I have chippies. Yeah, chippies. Yum, yum, yum. Um, yum, yum. <laughs> yum, yum, yum. There you go. What's your plan for tomorrow then? Um, Are you working tomorrow? No. no. Not working tomorrow. Good for you. Next weekend uh, I work though. No. I think. I believe, yeah, no, yeah, no I, I have no plans to work tomorrow. Um, no, I don't work next weekend. Yay, I'm free next weekend too. Yippee. Yay. <laughs> uh, probably do some groceries for this coming week, which is boring. I hate yeah. doing that. I hate spending money on food when I could rather spend it on art supplies. <laughs> well, yeah, I get it. You know, I, I completely understand and agree, of course. Yeah. Other than really? that, it's just, I don't know, do, doing laundry. And then as little as possible. <laughs> <laughs> After I've done those two things, I've got planning on doing as little as humanly possible. Yeah. Or, you know, maybe continue drawing on the, the this colorful lady I was busy with. Yeah, why not? And Dom, how about you? Have we seen what you're doing? Yeah, I painting my figure. Yeah, I do my best. <laughs> Looks good. And uh, I eat tonight uh, 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 eggs. Oh, cook it eggs on bread. That's nice. Uh, and uh, oh, nice I drink on the moment cola. There you go. Coke's in the house, apparently. Yeah, for me, it's um, uh, I had fried gnocchi with bacon and uh, red peppers. That was nice. Gnocchi. 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 <laughs> Potato pasta, <laughs> uh, which you fry instead of uh, boil. So that's nice. Uh, I've never tried those. Well, you should try. You can buy them. You know the fresh ones from from uh, Jumbo or Albertine. That's in the fridge. In their fridge. Yeah. Instead of boil them, you 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 fry them in the frying pan. It's nice. Oh, okay. I mean, a little bit of bacon, not too much. It gets very salty otherwise. Uh, what else? Uh, beverage of choice is uh, it's a Macmira whiskey, Swedish whiskey. Um, Ooh. so yeah, that's nice. That's a nice on my bench. Well, you've seen it. This and about twelve other projects. At the moment, <laughs> I'm struggling. Uh, I'm an addict, apparently. Um, and yeah, my plan, cool. yeah, my plan for tomorrow is doing absolutely nothing. Uh, I'm not even going to worry about my car. I'm just going to block it and then uh, regain my uh, thoughts <laughs> on Monday morning. <laughs> uh, exactly. It's going to cost me over four thousand to fix it. Uh, I will, <sighs> I will have to get rid of it because it's not worth it. Um, at the moment, I'm renting a car. Uh, this coming week, so I have a, a week to kind of figure out what to do. Um, might even have to talk to the bank, see what they can help out with. Because I was looking at cars around ten to fifteen thousand, and they all have done about a hundred thousand kilometers. Mm -hmm. And I drive that in less than a year, 
So I'll be in the same situation in the next two two years. <laughs> I need a new car. So, uh, but I need something at least. So we'll see what that will become. I need something. Maybe I should buy a Volvo 240. You know, they they, they never break. No, God. Old, no. old school working. Yeah, it pulls a little bit more gas. But, you know, it's like driving one of these, actually. Yeah, it's like a tank. Yeah, that's uh, true. <laughs> so, I'm actually looking, seriously looking at the 240 right now. Because <laughs> I know how to fix it. I know where to hit it. And, you know, it shouldn't cost me an arm and a leg. <laughs> yeah, I, at I least can... that's a car you can could fix yourself. Exactly. There's no computers here. It's just a... Now, here's the problem, though. Yeah. Getting the parts you need. Well, I know. However, the Netherlands have a very big uh, Volvo network for 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 uh, the veterans, so I don't think that'll be a problem. Otherwise, oh. I'll just have them ship from Sweden. There you go. I mean, go for it. Yeah. Talk to Linda. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I said she worked at uh, Mekonom, right? Oh, she does, or I thought that was the way she worked. I can right, see here. Uh, Athos says spag bowl and peace brew X from coffee bench closed since Hamish arrived before lunchtime. Got it, Athol. Thank you. Uh, Who's says, Hamish? Well, you can ask Athol who Hamish is. Yeah, uh, I'm, I'm looking at the chat now, waiting for an answer. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Athos uh, say, Kono says, Benny is chicken nuggets and chips bench. I'm still playing with my little thingy bits uh, for Optimus Prime, I mean. Yeah, I know. I've seen that. That's some bloody good shit you got there. You're doing a really, really good thing with that Optimus Prime. Uh, I'm really impressed. And Kono says, oh, my God. Did I just admit to playing with Optimus Prime's little thingy bits? Whoopsie. <laughs> Ah, okay. Ah, so, it's, a, it's a doggy. It's a little puppy. It's Aww. a tricolored corgi. Then Aww. Wayne says the right words Cute. that can make any Volvo man shiver. And it's Volvo 850R. Yes, that's a nice car. That's a nice car, but super expensive nowadays. Like Even Volvo is expensive. Yeah. I think that was actually the first car I got to practice driving in with my dad. The really? 50, yeah. Yeah. How the fuck? Interesting. Okay. Uh, where was I? Yes. U.S. Olive. There we go. <coughs> Do some paint crack. Hello, kitty. How are you doing? You're very quiet. My How kitty got tucked in into our bed, apparently. What? Yeah. Well, on top of our bed. He was uh, apparently sleeping there, so um, I, I'm guessing Mar Marcel tucked him in with one of his sweaters. Yeah. <laughs> so he's got one of Marcel's sweaters as a blankie. <laughs> oh, so it's now snuggly in bed. Yeah. Cozy. Well, I had to sort of confine him to the bedroom for a little while because it's getting a bit too rowdy here. Ah, okay. Yeah, and when he gets that into that mood, he wants to attract our attention. He will pull out all kinds of stuff from bookshelves and shit. He's a, can be really obnoxious every now and then. Well, and that's all because he wants our attention and he's discovered that, oh, this works. <laughs> well, that's cats for you. Yeah, but uh, the, the annoying part is this <clears throat> I know it's probably not the attention that he wants. He wants us to come and play with him. And not, you know, pick him up, toss him into the bedroom and say, let's stay there. But, you know, attention is attention. It's like little kids, you know. They can yes. misbehave just to get your attention. And even then, you being angry with them is still attention. <laughs> That's how it is. Animals. That's why we love them. Mm. Yeah. <clears throat> as long as they don't eat balloons and cost tons of money. Well, don't have balloons lying around. Yeah, I've uh, now banned balloons from my home. 
to yeah. the dismay of my son. He likes balloons. Well, they don't have to ban them, but they need to be able to uh, throw them away. Yeah, he likes to save all kinds of weird stuff. Yeah. To tell him to throw away rubber bands to, uh, earlier this week. Yeah, rubber bands are not good either. Yeah. No. Well, luckily he doesn't go and take. He doesn't take my uh, hair ties. You don't like those. That is. No, but but rubber bands. No, he'll take those. Mm -hmm. And also, you know those little uh, things for that you uh, on the on the bread bags. Yeah. With a. I hate uh, those. With steel wires in them. Yeah. Yeah, he'll steal those too. <clears throat> there you go. I just hope he doesn't end up eating one of those. Well, so, be careful. Far only seen it, so far, I've only seen him playing with them and whacking them in under the couch and stuff. But well, do what I do. Get rid of them as soon as you see them. Yeah, you know? I do. I do. Yeah. But I have two guys in this house also. I do. I do. And, and, and a kid. <laughs> yeah. They don't always listen very well to what I tell them to do. Ah. Tell them, no, you have to throw it in the trash. Yeah. <laughs> burnt iron. What can replace burnt iron? <clears throat> what color could be good to get rid of? Okay. Do you have any suggestions to, to uh, replace burnt iron? The color. What is, what is that supposed to look like? Burnt iron. That's what I'm yeah. asking. What can replace yeah. burnt iron? Because I don't have burnt iron. Yes, but what do they call burnt iron? Burnt what? Mm hmm. Does that sound weird that I'm asking exactly? Is that a sort of a gray color, like no, silverish? No, no. If you look at iron, gun, and, gun and metal, you burn iron. it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you burn, then you have burnt iron. No, it's for exhaust, uh, exhaust color. Okay. Uh, trying to, uh, yeah, Wi Fi sucks. I have to point it at the door. Because apparently uh, everywhere else but this room, Wi-Fi yeah, is... Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, here we go. Almost there. <laughs> what was that know. now? I don't know. Oh, it was Daniel for the cat. Yeah. Oh. Cats. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Oh come oh, on! Iron. No, the, okay, well, if, it, if you're thinking like an exhaust, like the exhaust pipe, do you mean that? It's for exhaust, yes. Uh, however, I'm trying to hold on. Give me a second. But doesn't that turn a bit? If, then, then they usually turn a little bit blue, purplish, when because they've been so hot, right? That well, yes, on 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 bare metal, it does. Yeah. But this is not bare metal, so it's been painted. And then you're going to have to, uh, can I imagine, what would that look like? Oh. So, yeah. Do you, you have know, any idea what the paint actually would be? You know, very, you're not very far off. It's a, it's a bit brown, I guess. Oh, okay. So, um, hmm. hmm. Yeah. Well, I need what something. number is that? Uh, 71, 0, 50, 40? Uh, 0, 40. Yeah. Or yeah, 7941. Yeah. Burnt umber. And you need it for the airbrush? No, no. That was just uh, to get a color, uh, how it looks. Oh, okay. I should have something similar, if I'm not mistaken. How do you make burnt iron paint? Ooh, that sounds like a very good. Uh... Do you have to um, uh, paint something big with it, or is it like small? No, no, it's just an exhaust. <laughs> it's not much. Oh, okay. Then maybe you can mix it together then, or something in a small amount. It says use flat black and then uh, go to flat red brown or NATO brown. Okay. Fair. Yeah. Something like that. All right, maybe we can uh, <clears throat> work something out. So flat black, I have that. 
Let's do that. Yeah. All right. Fine. Got it. Uh, Athel says, burnt umber is a replacement, Marcus. Yeah, I just saw. Uh, Connor says, burnt iron could be swapped out with microwave pop poop color. <laughs> Good for you, man. <laughs> uh, Connor says, uh, and just for the record, no, I haven't taken a dump in the microwave. Well, not this week anyway. There you go. If you need any answers to any weird questions, uh, any strange urges, you can always <laughs> ask Quano. I'm sure he will provide a good insight on things. I'm convinced now. <laughs> <laughs> Not sure if it will be helpful, but... <laughs> no, it's all right. So I'm not sure how pooping in the microwave would help anyone. Well, yeah, yeah, I don't know. I have no idea. It just sounds weird. <laughs> All right, change of glasses. There we are. Hmm. Painting the exhaust. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's going to be fun to experiment with. So, how does next week look for you guys? Just work or anything fun coming up? Oh, uh, dentist appointment. Oh, God. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> Shouldn't have asked. <laughs> yeah, if I can actually, I, I might have to cancel that one, though. Because yeah. I don't have a car. No, I have car issues as well. Yeah, I know you do. Uh, you... When you explained what you had to do with your car and you couldn't keep it anymore, I was like, yeah, that sucks. And then I go to the MOT place and it's like, yeah. <laughs> it's like, oh, fuck. <laughs> so the yeah, but here's the difference. Even even if it was, for example, for me, it was what, 1,400 euros. Mm. And if it had been that for you, you, you probably would have done it I, because oh, yeah. you liked your car. It was a nice, it was actually a nice car. I've been in your car. It was a nice car. Yeah, no, Absolutely. I my car wasn't very nice. I just yeah. tried to, you know, fake it looking nice with uh, some AliExpress stickers and some paint. <laughs> Let's not talk about my car. It makes me cry. Oh. Oh. Yeah. But, well, uh, 1400 yeah. I would have uh, willingly spent, but uh, they're going to have to tear down the engine for this. It's just not worth it on a 310,000 kilometer car. I have to be realistic. Uh, because I've spent that money and drive another year and now something else fails and I have to spend a lot of money again. You know, it's not just worth it anymore. Why Sadly. does it feel... Why, why, oh, never mind. What? No, it's just every year when we have to do this stupid Apica and shit, I always have the feeling that it wouldn't be an issue if we were in Sweden. I know, because then you have places where you can actually do it yourself. And you can do that here in the Netherlands too, but parts are fucking hard to come by. Mm -hmm. I come to Sweden, I just got like uh, Christo. Yeah, exactly. Help. You got the family there to help you, right? And yeah. I do too. <laughs> no, but still, I, and I don't know. And in Sweden, they don't seem to be as picky with this kind of crap. Sorry, pardon my French. But you get actually, uh, they will mark you on your RPK because your windscreen wipers might need replacing. Yeah, that's stupid. That's not and they go like. That's not even a one yeah. in Sweden. <laughs> in Sweden, we have a, a point system. You either have a one or a two for a fault. If it's a one, yeah, just get it done. You know, two, you get need it to done come before next time. <laughs> yeah. If it's a two, you need to go back and check it. But, you know, here it's like yay or nay. If it's three, you have to call a tow truck. <laughs> here you can't even practice driving with, with your family, you know. Ridiculous. Yeah. I know. 
I'd like to take Sean out to drive, but you know, no, can't do that here. <laughs> no, they just want to make more money for uh, driving schools. Yeah. All right, flat black. There we go. <clears throat> I think I'm going to paint the barrel. Right. Okay, let's see. I see something in the chat. Let's see. Let's have a look. Athel says, uh, well, to me, that makes Dan sound as if all his meals taste of shit. Wow. <laughs> Quala says, you want the answer to any question? I'm your man. If you want the answer to make sense or even remotely sense, jog on. Yeah, that's what I said. That's fantastic. Wayne says, everyone is having car issues, it seems. Yeah, Wayne, I saw the uh, your wife's uh, the picture of her car. Uh, that looks absolutely horrifying, to be quite honest. And especially since it was going to be put on a flatbed like that. You know, it's, uh, yeah, that guy shouldn't, he, no, that's, he should not be in that profession, to be quite honest. The guy who's tried to, uh, to do that. Uh, what, 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 what. No, um, Wayne's wife had an issue with a car, a uh, wheel bearing gave out, and the guy who came to pick the car up uh, insisted on driving it up on the on the tow truck, and while doing so, shared it and, and kind of uh, pulled the wheel off the, the car, and it pushed back toward the rear bumper and, you know, caused it on damage for nothing. Basically. So he'll have to pay for that damage then. Well, I assume so because it shouldn't be uh, Wayne or his wife. No, of course not. I mean, if he mm -hmm. caused the damage with his action, then he needs mm -hmm. to pay for it. Yeah. Well, this I is wouldn't in... settle for anything else. Well, this is in another country, right? We don't know their rules and laws, right? So, but I would assume that if you break it, you fucking buy it. <laughs> you know. Uh, Athel says, Annika, we used, uh, used to have a spell of cars being stolen. So a buddy of mine bought an old banger, and to stop it being stolen, he had it painted with rust paint. Yeah. That's cool. <laughs> That'll work. <laughs> uh, Connor says to Wayne, I'm not having car issues. Hmm, probably because I got a motorbike instead. Ha ha ha. Very funny. Uh, David Marcus says, after talk of all this drink, I have now got myself a port. Good for you, David. Join the fun. Cheers. Mm. <laughs> How's it going, Dom? Everything good? Yeah, everything is okay. Good. Let's see. <clears throat> oh no. How did I miss that? Oh, blind as a bat, it seems. Got to dab a little bit more color here. Or black at least. Here we go. I can't see. <laughs> there we go. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There we go. All right. I made a decision. I'm going to paint that barrel black on the machine gun. Good job. Yeah, that's how I remember them from when I was in the the forces on the KSPs. So they were black barrels. And do it like that. Yeah, for old time's sake. <laughs> it's a bit wonky. Whatever.
Sorry for being quiet, since I'm focusing a little bit right now. Yeah, sorry. Uh, <laughs> uh, I was kind of doing, trying to. Uh, sorry. Um, That's um, a lot of mumbling. There's also something. <laughs> sometimes when you have to do something, you get worried you're going to screw it up. <laughs> Yes. Oh, I've done that so many times. Don't worry about screwing up. You can always redo. If this, uh, no. <laughs> well, I can. I didn't say you could. <laughs> Depends on what you're working on. That is so correct. I am actually really interested how it's going to go with that plane you were working, started on last night. Oh, why are you so interested in that? Because uh... you said you're going to have to paint it differently than what what it actually was intended so yeah, you have to pull out your own creativity on that one yes that is correct and um since painting that plane is is quite far off at the moment i still have some time to think about it but i think we explored some colors last time like purple or mm -hmm. something like that i do have some nice color uh, color chaining paints that could suit. Ooh. Yeah, that would look cool, I think, on that kind of aircraft. I'm, I just don't want to take it away from the from the decals that's coming with it because it's very anime and stuff like that. So you, you want them to... No, you want you something know, to the, that can match a little bit. Yeah, that the compl uh, compliments uh, make sure they stick out as they should. Mm -hmm. Right, so... Maybe you should do like I told told you, make like color swatches that you can put next to the decals and see how that That's matches. an idea, definitely. Yeah, I agree. So that's something that I probably will do. Uh, thing is, the colors, the color changing paints that I have are airbrush. So I will probably have to learn how to airbrush by that. That's going to be a hoot um, because I've never done that before. I learned how to spray paint the bicycle you, last you, time. You have a compressor, <laughs> uh, Marcus. I have the full setup. It's been sitting here for a year and a half and haven't even touched it. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> I know. <laughs> it's the fear. Don't say it like that, Dom. <laughs> I was, I was, uh, my first Airbus experience was um, in 2017. Yeah. And I buy that stuff. the the next The next day, I was testing my airbrush. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And I you think... let it let it on the shelf for a yeah. year and a half. Oh, I, my didn't, God. I didn't have any use for it. I can brush paint. See, look at that. Ta -da. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's okay. My, you can. That's win. okay. <laughs> he says that, you but it's not. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! Oh, sorry. My, you can no. make a really big difference, and uh, spend not so much time to paint it. No, you. Yeah, you're. You're right. I'm not saying you're not. I'm just saying I'm not there yet, or wasn't there yet. But now I might have to actually set it up properly. Uh, and uh, give it a go. If I want to do this painting that I'm thinking I have to do, then yeah, airbrushing is uh, by far superior. Yeah, you can. It is really easy to do. Only uh, the most people have struggled with the primer. Oh, really? Yes. Uh, and primer is the most important paint uh, on your model. I agree. I do agree. Um, why is the struggle with the primer? Is it the different style of applying no, it? Or? No, a lot of primers are too thick. Oh, and okay. People want too fast. And you I do see. it too thick in your airbrush. Then you have your nozzle. Yep, all uh, it looks like snot. It will clog, yeah. yeah. Yes. And then uh, you have trouble with your air. It's not coming out, but then you have, uh, it looks like uh, sputters. Yeah, I, I know what you mean. It, it's yeah. uh, splats, uh, leaves, uh, yeah. faces everywhere. Yeah. Got it. yeah. And you're uh, mixing your your primer with the, with the right thinner. Um, then you uh, do a couple of drips of this stuff. 
Are you using acrylics? Because I know I use this stuff. Oh, flow improver. Okay. Yes. You mix your primer in a cup, in this, in this cups. You can yeah. use, uh, I, I have no idea, you drink coffee with the coffee milk uh, cups. Some people using that cups for it. Oh, ah, okay. <laughs> That's I cheaper. don't, I don't, but I know what you mean. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Okay. It's cheaper than yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, you can mix it. Um, you do three traps of this stuff in it. You mix it again. Yeah. And then you do it in your airbrush. You set your pressure on uh, 18 PSI. 80 or 18? 18. Okay. Good. That's <laughs> around two bar around yeah. that. That's okay. Yeah. And then you go uh, uh, testing your. Uh, you have. I take this average. I can show it you. What you can do, you push this in. This is your trigger. Yeah. You push it in. And what you need to learn, you push it to your to the back yeah yeah and then you push and it then down. you have then you have paint and you go back you push it back and then you have air uh -huh. you let it not down you push it all the time in yeah and then you do this and you let it back this and you let it back and that is learning airbrushing yeah yeah, I need to do that definitely. Um, yeah. It's a new skill that I have been sh kind of avoiding for a, a long time because you know. Now you're not so allowed to anymore. Well, exactly right. So there's no good good painters in this community. So now. what kind of color changing paints do you have then? Okay, um, let's see where they are. So I have these from um, Green Stuff. They're, they're really good. So, um, it's like a million stuff, isn't it? Color, um, color shift uh, metal. So if you, I don't know if you can. Hold on. Ooh. So you have <coughs> like that kind of color shift. Mm. You see that? Yeah. It's all metallic. All right, not bad, huh? Then we have also uh, this from uh, from green stuff. This set, like that, you can see. Hmm, I actually see some this, one there that might be nice. Yeah. The one, the bottom, bottom right corner there. This one. Yeah. Yeah. But it looks like on camera, but it might look different in, in reality than <laughs> what I see. And then I have uh, 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 this one. Yeah, what's numbers uh, uh, you have set one, two, and three? Yeah, okay. that's correct. Yeah. Okay. I have one and two here. So I do have a few things that I could use for this adventure. Uh, what's that? Wood and steel. Oh, wood. Interesting. Dry rust, rust. Ooh, let's see what's in here. That is from Amame. No, uh, Vallejo. Oh, yeah. Amame. Yeah. Yeah, I see it. The Vallejo, that's possible too. Oh yeah, it's Vallejo. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> You're right. But they have the same sets. Uh, they have to make. Well, they should have at least. All right, there we go. Let's see what we Oh, they're so small and tiny bottles. This is uh, Whiskids. Yeah. <laughs> oh, just different than we have here. Well, Smaller. this is, this is uh, uh, it's called Whiskids. So it's actually for kids, right? So they, they made the, the, the bottle smaller, right? So it's not a lot of paint, but, you know, it's pretty cool. <laughs> Oh, but the wood colors are, you use it not so much. Only uh, on, uh, you have uh, your uh, shuffle and. Yeah, exactly that. 
hawks and everything on your vehicle. That's the only way you use it for. Yeah, exactly. I also have this one lying around. This is, uh, I think this is Vallejo as well, if I'm not mistaken. All these uh, air war kind of paints. These are actually for airbrushing as well. So. Okay, yeah, I have all that colors. I have the whole range. Yeah, they're pretty good. Yeah. Well, for that, I need my airbrush work. So, yeah, paints I do have. That's not the problem. <laughs> it's the action to do it. That uh, might be a bit of a <laughs> an issue. Uh, Take the chance. Yeah, exactly. Take the chance. Uh, I was going for... I know it's scary to try new things. Oh, it's not so much that. What's the, wor what's the worst that can happen? Oh, that I have to repaint the fucker. And I hate doing that. <laughs> yeah. What you can do, take a piece of paper and spray it on the paper and testing your paint. That's what I suggest. Swatch it. Yeah. Testing your, your skills with the average. Yeah. I will have to do that, definitely. Yeah. And we have here uh, in my area in Horn, mm. we have uh, the hobby store have uh, we say that courses. You can learning everything. Oh, you got courses! Yes. Wow, that's cool. Yeah. Yeah, we don't have that here. Not even in the big city. We don't. It's hard to even this, find a, a, a hobby store. Yeah, it's a hobby store. Uh, I think it cost 40 euros. Wow. And a little bit a young boy is uh, teaching you that. Yeah. But he is, uh, he is okay. He's good. Okay, that's good to hear. He's know what he's talking about. This. But I, I, I give you the lessons for free. <laughs> yeah, of course. <laughs> I appreciate that. Oh, just because someone is young doesn't mean they don't know. No, but uh, Dom is free. <laughs> yes, of course. Now, I mean, this is a young guy, but he knows a lot. But yeah. yeah I I know. Know. So. <laughs> uh, Athol says, okay, Marcus, Annika, and Dom, um, as Hamish is staying with me uh, tonight, I'm heading to bed, and he is already snoring his head off uh, in his doggy bed. So, good night, all in Chatland. See ya. So good night, Athol. Good night, Athol. Good night. Thank you very much for showing up. Uh, much appreciated. Then people are saying good night to you. Athol. Wayne also says, I use rattle can primer and then a uh, hairy stick to paint as yet to use my airbrush. Yeah, I am in the same way as Wayne here. We're doing the same thing. <laughs> so far, it's been working. But when I come to these uh, color changing paints, it's going to be slightly difficult to, to get a good uh, result. I know that Ross has, uh, uh, could probably do a really good hairy stick result with color changing paints. And speaking about Ross, here he is, Scale Model Ninja. Good evening, Care Bear. Not long now till your 50th. Can you shut the fuck up about that? You know, let's just all forget that, that I have a birthday. Um, I'm or not is forgetting it. Oh, Annika, please. <laughs> Or is it 60? Not quite sure. Lol. Uh, everyone says hello. Speak for yourself. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Ross says, Marcus is playing with his wood I see. I wasn't. That's for my OnlyFans. Uh, and then um, Wayne is saying, is it Vallejo? I didn't quite see it, lol. Uh, <laughs> funny. Uh, Wayne says, Ross, Marcus is itching to get back to his black pearl. Wow, Wayne. Thanks for calling me out on this one. Um, not really itching, but I said next Saturday that I would do it. Just kind of please the masses. Uh, Ross says, I was thinking it was about time. Lol. Ah, ha, 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 ha. Funny, funny guys. And then uh, everyone says good night and uh, to Athol and hello to Ross. And then we got Ross saying, "Give it a couple more weeks, Dom, and Marcus will get senior rates." Oh, 
wow. Just wow. You know, thanks, Ross, for showing up and, you know, being all nice and stuff like that. <laughs> <laughs> right. So this one is, okay, I need to figure out what kind of, uh... okay, it's this one. I need to try it. And then we have that. Basically ready for gloss coat. So I can do some weathering on this sucker. I think it looks good already, to be quite honest. But let's, uh, let's do it right, I guess. Sorry. <clears throat> do it right. Do it right. Do it right. Is that where you strap on little uh, firecrackers and pretend it was hit by bombs? Yes, exactly that. <laughs> like it did when you were kids. Yes, of course. You know, how else would you get authentic battle damage? Uh, Quano says, hi, Ross. Uh, is that 50 or 60 centuries? Ha, 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 Quano. Why don't you and Ross go and have fun together? Right? I think that would be good. Right, so what am I going to do now? That one needs Ross Coty. I can't. I'm do guessing that. they're Here. both older than you are, right? Oh, uh, I know Ross is. <laughs> I don't know about Quano. I think he's younger than me. If I'm uh, quite. If I if I um, get take a guess, it'll be uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, I think I am the youngest here. Yes, you are definitely. You you like out like of the three of us, yeah. <laughs> Uh, Wayne saying just clipped it. Uh oh. Wayne, what did you do? Hmm. Ross is laughing. Yeah, nothing good can come out of that one. Yeah, all right. Uh, so, what am I supposed to do? Oh, we could. Could do that. It's an ugly color. It's like baby poo. Who came up with this kind of color plastic? I don't get it. <laughs> yeah, but look at it. It's like. Bleh. Yeah, it looks like what's in the, the baby's first yeah. diaper shirt. Yeah. So this needs serious painting, to be quite honest. This is the ejector seat. Uh, it needs a, a, a joystick. And this is the pilot. He's been decapitated. I know the pilot is very, very small. It's oh. very, very small. What colors does he get? Well, I was thinking, well, it is. Sure. <laughs> oh, let's not go there. Um, why pink? I don't know. Fun. Why, where's che the che there? Cheerful color. Yellow. Uh, uh, oh, that doesn't belong there. Hold on. Where's my snippers? There we go. Hello and goodbye. There we go. There we go. So the head goes there, but I don't see where the... So, okay, so he's going to look to his left, apparently. And the air hose will go where? That is ridiculous. It can't be that way. Apparently... Apparently, yes. Oh, and then you have to... Oh, I see. Okay, so let's find those parts. Hmm. Quano says, I'm 45 on my way uh, on, on May 3rd. How ancient are you, Marcus? Why don't you shut up, Quano? Wayne says, uh, you're playing with a tank. Yeah, I am playing with a tank. What else are you supposed to do with it? I mean, it's a good tank. Look at it. I just wish I had the hydraulics and I can make the, uh, it 
bow down a bit. That would be cool. Maybe I should do that. Oh, Go that's interesting. Yep, yeah, I might change that. Um, uh, the, uh, Ross says that market is on about strap. What? When did I say anything about strap-ons? Did I say anything about? No, I didn't. No, you didn't. No, oh, thank you. Uh, Wayne says sent it to Discord. The link of the clip. What clip? What did I say that was so offensive? Uh, Connor says, Marcus, that joystick has to be painted with a red ender. <laughs> Funny fucker. Uh, Ross says, Quano, that would explain the strap. What? I don't know what they're all about. You know, I. You know. Then Connor says, also give the pilot have a big, floofy white beard. Um. <laughs> uh, so this is the the head. I'm not really sure how to fit a big floofy white beard on this, but I can give it a try if I have good enough spectacles. Yeah, <laughs> it looked like he. Yeah, no, I'm not going to say that. Maybe you can see it. I may I paint the the eyes. Of course, I tried to paint the eyes. That's... Yes, I see eyes. I see it too. Yeah, definitely. He's got a funny yeah. grin on his face. A funny grin. Well, it's plastic for you. Yeah. Oh, I need to make it a little bit smaller. So I'm big. munching some chickpeas in the meantime. Mm. Yum, yum. <laughs> oh, the wrong color. And then why is this? I, I don't. <laughs> Right, a D51 and a D52. It's like 200 fucking sprues to go through to find those. Where's the D? Oh, oh I didn't say that. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I get it. I got the wrong glasses. By the way, I apologize if I happen to sneeze or something. Oh, don't worry about that. I have a cold again. Again. Ross, Ross says with gimp masked attached. Lol. Yeah, whatever. You got a cold again, huh? Yeah. It's no fun. No, I don't I like get, it. I get that part. That's one. And then we got the D52, like that. Oh, I hate this color of the plastic. Sorry. It just feels weird. It does look a bit weird as well. Yeah, I'm not used to that. Well, no. Well, this kind of weird. I'm used to other weird stuff, but you know, this kind of weird is a bit iffy. All right, so let's see. How is that gonna fit in this? Uh, oh, idiot. I mean, uh, well, that sucks. All right, so, okay, got it. So we need some glue. Glue, glue, glue. Sorry. No, you don't have to apologize. That's perfectly fine. Gen X behavior. No, it's true. That's awesome. Yeah, because so I'm that old. You are a Gen X, you can't get away from yes, that. Yes, I know. And be proud of being a Gen Xer, all right? We don't give a shit. 
There we are. That's the one of the joysticks. Apparently, one of the joysticks, this one, is attached to the side of the aircraft. So that's going to be interesting to fit uh, in his hand when the uh, <laughs> when I'm putting shit together. Uh, or do I fit? If, yeah. Oh, every, everything I say now is going to be dirty. Uh, it's going to be uh, Quano and just, Rokus, uh Yeah, just go for it. Let them have their laugh. All right. This pilot will have his joystick, joystick in his hand, right? Uh, his, uh, his left hand. And with the right, he has the other joystick. So he's multitasking. Um, yes. But this joystick goes on the, on, the, on the side of the fuselage. Right. So my question is, do I, okay, do I try to actually get it in his hands first and then in the fuselage? Or do I go to the fuselage and glue it there and hope it sticks when I put things together? Now, that's a big question. Uh, hmm. I don't know. Interesting. Interesting. Uh, give me a second to think of that. That one. All right. Let's uh, see what damage that must have caused in the chat. Um Kono says, uh, so uh, a shame you don't have a 3D printer. I could design a replacement head with a big floofy Santa beard, and then you could tell everyone uh, you're the pilot. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that would be funny. <sighs> Let's see. How is he? Where's his arm? Well, if I if I if I don't have his arm, I'm not going to do the pilot. That's just how simple this is going to be. What's it called? D eighteen. Ooh. Oh. Okay, I'm glad I did a little bit of background here because now this is starting to come together a little bit. Yeah. Um, I don't know if you can see that. I mean, the, the light takes away some. Uh... Never mind. Ah, damn it! I found his arm. <laughs> so now the surgeon can reattach it yeah yeah whatever <laughs> no prosthetics uh. for you <laughs> oh how's that hand gonna fit oh come on really that's supposed to fit there i should have known this so that that was a stupid thing to do okay Yeah, his hand is way bigger than the joystick. <laughs> that didn't sound good either. Um, <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> thank you for laughing at that one. Um, all right, I'm going to have to do some fitting and remodeling here to make sure we can get a good grip on the joystick. Fuck everything. I, this is not good. Everything I say is being going to be taken advantage of people are going to make clips and they're going to tell me shit and you know go for it bring it i i award the best <laughs> what taking a piss kind of contest yes go for it uh wayne says going to head off as early start tomorrow as soon as a sun got football match first thing. Hey, Wayne, thank you very much for showing up. Very much appreciated. Uh, enjoying the footy tomorrow. Uh, and Quano says, also, if I did design a new head uh, and pass it to Marcus, then he would have to admit everyone I gave him head. Yeah. And that's not going to happen. Everyone says good night to Wayne. So, yeah, thanks, Quano. <laughs> 
I will never, ever, ever admit to that. So how's it going for you, Annika? How's that uh, alien? Oh, background is coming. Look at that. Let's do a mid, mid, oh, midstream shot here to Annika, what she's up to. There you go. Full screen for everyone to see. Look at that background. It doesn't look that much on my screen, I see. Actually, the, 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 the light that's emitted mm. going straight for his armor. Yeah. I, I see no issue here at all. <laughs> no, that but I mean, the, the 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 colors look a lot lighter on the screen than they actually are on paper. Well, I think that looks great anyway. Yeah, I mean, thank you. I didn't didn't say it wasn't, you know, I wasn't yeah, happy with it, but it just, it just how it, <laughs> yeah, it doesn't translate that well onto the screen right now, or in it's, my it's opinion. A, it's a work in progress, right? So... Yes, it is a work in progress. But I mean, I mean, the colors are rather light still. Oh, oh Marcel's coming home. Mm. Marcel and Doggo is coming. Hello. Marcel and Doggo. Honey, we're home. Hello, Marcel. They're yelling hello for you. <laughs> hello. <laughs> so is a bunch. Hello, chaps. Hello, Marcel. How are you doing? Oh, holy hell, I'm getting some I think auditory damage now. <laughs> auditory damage. And this uh what is it, tinnitus? Beep in oh. my ears. <laughs> well, good for you, man. <laughs> yeah right at least something <laughs> consistent in my life yeah no. yeah <laughs> how are you how holding you up i've just been walking mrs dog mrs dog mr dog i meant he's got a bit of an identity crisis oh oh he does does he yeah he moans like a girl every now and then okay <clears throat> <laughs> i meant when he wants a block of cheese not my yeah whatever <laughs> <laughs> we all know what you meant yeah right we, we just can't say it that's just how <laughs> <laughs> not out loud though so there's a mumble something <laughs> so how are you guys doing we are good uh hard at here. work yeah hard at work it's me dominic and annika here on the stream and a few guys on the in the chat so oh awesome oh. People are saying hello to Marcel as well hello. from the chat. So also, it's all uh, good. Looking good. So Dominic, what are you doing? If I might ask, obviously. He's coming. Uh, I, I'm painting my figures. All right, cool. Uh, and I am busy with a desert diorama. Ah, nice. Like That's Africa core. Yeah, yeah. I, re I recognize that. Yeah. Uh, me being the history nut, nice. Well done. Yeah, I uh and I busy with a 116 Jeep, wheelie Jeep. Oh really one? Oh, I love those. Yeah, really. You like Willy, huh? Uh-huh, not just a Jeep. I meant I like the Willy Jeep. I just I, don't oh, know. I knew it. <laughs> oh, I knew it. <laughs> That was a bit too easy, wasn't it? <laughs> so, <laughs> might be asking, though, Dominic, you're from the Netherlands, possibly? Yes. I can hear. Well, that <laughs> You can hear. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, but fine-tuned to that. Didn't mean anything by it. So, what part of the Netherlands is it? Uh, I'm really close to uh, Amsterdam. Ah, the not-so-good part of the Netherlands. Bad. Don't get me wrong. Being close to Amsterdam is fine, though. But I do think that a lot of people, particularly tourists or outsiders, think that Amsterdam is synonym for the Netherlands, which it totally isn't. Well, that is the face of the Netherlands. Neither is all that's, where Skip, <laughs> that's where Skipple is. So. Yeah, that's it's true. I yeah, for me, it's, Amsterdam is for me around uh, 
with the train 45 minutes. Oh, and he's still a fair way off, mate. Yeah. Yes. Uh, it's not really close, but the most people have no idea where uh, my area is. Um, well, since I'm a Dutch myself, I actually might know. Uh, uh, Horn. Oh, uh, Horn. Oh, I know Horn. I actually got a few friends out there. Oh, cool. Horn is cool, actually. <laughs> is it? However, 45 minutes in the wrong direction from Horn and you're in the water. Uh, not so much Amsterdam. <laughs> 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 okay, you got that one. We was like, huh? <laughs> oh, so no, I meant that if you travel from Horn, take 45 minutes, um, well, traveling time. If you go to the West, you get your feet wet. Ah, yeah, that's yeah. true. That mm. is true. That's how huge our country is, isn't it, Dominic? <laughs> yeah, if we travel for, yeah. for 20 minutes in the wrong direction, we end up in Germany. Yeah, it's a two hours drive. I think I actually come, funnily comments on that. Uh, either you're driving... Um, what are you doing? I don't know what I mean. If you drive like a two hours, you either get your feet wet or they start to talk funny. Okay. <laughs> Which means you're abroad. That's, that's, not, no longer in that. that's yeah. every direction from my house, basically. Yeah, I think so. Too. Five meters and they talk funny, you know? <laughs> 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 oh, that's your funky neighbors. <laughs> <laughs> oh, ooh, guys, we have uh, Connie and Dragon Lover. Uh, she says, hello, Marcus, Annika, Dominic, Marcel. And everyone says hello to Connie. Hello. So it's really nice to have you in, Connie. That, that's fantastic. Uh, I hope you like it. We're silly. Just enjoy. Oh, if you'd like to you. join, feel free. Hey. Just let me know. I don't know what time it's it's uh what is all furnish yeah there about that's when you're getting at steam a bit like, isn't it hey look at that i have a cockpit with an arm in it just the arm what do you do with the rest of the puppet oh the pup the pilot <laughs> yeah ah, <laughs> so the ghost arm oh yeah i'm gonna call it the ghost arm <laughs> yeah. oh, oh fuck sorry yeah. Is he building crashed airplanes again? Are you? Uh, no, he's building uh, an anime airplane. Oh, you haven't seen it? All right, give me a second. Here we no, go. I haven't. Yeah, at least not this one. All right, let's see if we can just get a good shot of it. So it's the Dol Idolmeister. What on earth? F sixteen. Ah, the Falcon. Nice. With, oh wow! With that, with that kind of uh, decaling. What on earth are these puppet things going on? They're not puppets, they're anime figures. Right? Oh, is that a, okay? So, does that make it a different building kit altogether then? Or no, the kit itself uh, is like a normal kit. It's the painting scheme and the uh, the, the decal is going to um, be different, but that's how it's going to look, hopefully, in the end. So, the instructions are what Japanese now? Yeah, they are Japanese. There's, See, no, I... <laughs> there's no English in this. Uh, uh, so it's it's quite annoying. <laughs> <laughs> Namaste, my friend. Yes, well done. Oh, that's Indian, but yeah, sure, go for it. Yeah, it's close <laughs> enough. Uh, it's that two hundred meters the other way. It's, it's some still wet in, stuff. It's, it's still in Asia. You're absolutely yeah. right. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, Connor says I'm chilling at work at the moment. Yeah. If we go, if if we could all chill at work, that would be absolutely fantastic. Uh, <laughs> I love chilling at work; that would be awesome. I just read that Quano man has a good idea what you're doing at work. Picture yeah, of the girl is a new outfit Marcus is going to be wearing when he's off cam. Now this, yeah, is no, that's not right. happening. Uh, <laughs> no, 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 not happening at all. Should be fun as an executive at Tesla, as you know, wearing a dress. Fun. Yeah. I do think, though, you can't make great tales of your head hairdo, but the beard might be fun. What? I don't, I don't know. It's, it's some... There's nothing fun about my beard. Well, if you were to put braids in, it could be fun. Oh. Uh, yeah. Know. Okay. Got it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Go old is... Tamagotchi with it or something. I don't know. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you have to feed it. Yeah, so oh, what's new there then? <laughs> <laughs> Funny. <laughs> I can see the resemblance. No, never mind. 
with, with my quasi German accent. Quasi German. Which hit a snare with my son. He loves the German talk. Uh, correction, the Nazi talk. That is. Yeah. <laughs> he thinks it sounds funny. Well, it yeah. does sound funny. It does, doesn't it? But you always sound like Gestapo when you talk German. <laughs> yeah. I agree with you, Connor. A very good imitation of her flick. He would be great in a skirt. Are you read chat? Marcus uh -huh. is in denial. No, I'm not in denial. I'm on it's land. Not... I'm dry on dry land here. I'm not oh, taking it's it. Not, not even near Egypt, he is. Yeah. No. True that. Right. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> yes. 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 I'm going to take my headset back before you get carried away. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, get off the radio, yeah, Ham. <laughs> Have I just overdo it a bit. Yeah. I'm not getting oh, carried away. I'll take the headset back before he turns into a flick. He's ah, already done that. Ah, you mean kiss me? Well, <laughs> <laughs> oh. mm. I, I told I'm him. I'm just wondering what happened to the fallen Vandona with the Knockwurst in it. Well, oh. it. Wasn't that the Madonna with the Sorry. big boobies? <laughs> the Madonna with the big boobies. That yes. one, yes. Wait a minute. The fallen Madonna with the big boobies. <laughs> I'm just wondering. I You're wondering, know. did it hurt? Is she the Madonna in the fallen knockwurst, or does the fallen knockwurst have a Madonna around? They hid a sausage. They hid a sausage. The, yeah. <laughs> they hid the sausage. <laughs> they hid the, what are called, some, the, the painting in a sausage. They hid a sausage? Yeah. And the knockwurst. Oh, I know. I'll be right Madonna back, the fellas. Boobies, boobies hidden in the knockwurst. I'll be right back. Yeah, delivered yeah, by nice. Lieutenant Gruber and his little tank. Yeah, don't forget Lieutenant Gruber. <laughs> oh, honey. <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant TV that was. Absolutely, I loved it. That was the best. Yeah. Yeah. Marcel is cuddling with the dog behind you, behind me. If you hear weird uh, sighing noises. <laughs> <laughs> no. oh. There we are. Well, he's big, fluffy, and cute. So. Aww. Thank you. You weren't talking about me. Yes, you are also big, fluffy, and cute. Uh, oh. Shit. <laughs> oh, shut up, Marcel. <laughs> oh, he can't hear us. <laughs> uh, no, he can't hear you now. Ask him still when he's headset. coming online with us. Ask him. Ask him. Yeah. Ask him. When are you coming online here with us then? Uh, next time. Uh, next week. Next says. time, he says. Yeah, All right. That's very unspecific. Repair my plate. That would be next week. Next time, wouldn't it? The plate. Yeah, that would be next Saturday. <laughs> <laughs> so next Saturday, you're going to have to sit here and actually build your plane or something. Repair yeah. my plane. Repair your plane. Since the cat bloody well demolished it. Yeah, don't blame the cat for everything. Why? It's easy. He doesn't understand. Uh, we ah. can always uh, next week uh, teach uh, Marcus Dutch. Oh, no. No, the thing is, he... <laughs> oh, his, no, his, no. his plane actually lost an engine. Oh. It uh, came loose. But but to 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 what uh, Dom said, you know, I, I already know the most important things like uh, Kut and uh, uh, Nurkin in the Kirken. Yeah. What more do you need to know? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Not much, actually. <laughs> You're covered. See, he's laughing. He knows exactly what, what I'm saying. He knows I'm right. <laughs> That's all you got to know. <laughs> Good so much you couldn't say. Okay, that was a bit above my pay grade. Um, <laughs> you know, the only thing that uh, sucks, uh, not the only thing, but many. Th yeah, Marcel's joining next week. That's what he said. You all heard it, so let's hold it to him. Yep. 
He um, not, didn't escape this time. The worst thing in the Netherlands is to, uh, uh, to for your social Dutch is you're working for an American company where the the business language is English. Uh, there are no ways to practice Dutch at work because it's all in English, and um, it becomes and when you get home late, like I will, more than often is. There's no way of like uh, grabbing an evening course to improve your Dutch or whatever like that. It's just, it's not happening. I'm just, I need to cook dinner and make sure that my son is fed, homework's done, and then I'm dead. You know, I'm ready for bed. <laughs> you know, and then I have to get up again, repeat, rinse and repeat. So I feel ashamed that I haven't learned more Dutch than I have. But then again, I, I feel like I have a valid reason, so I'm going with that. Well, if you want to learn more, you can, you know, call me and I can practice with you. I don't know. Yeah, we could. But do I want to? Do I really want to? I don't know. Oh, you That's what that. it comes down to. Isn't it? <laughs> yeah, it's a bit of will. So I, I've learned some Dutch phrases, of course. I, I can actually read Dutch okay-ish. And if you speak slowly and not in dialect... I don't know what dialect though, but so it... basically, don't listen to Marcel when he speaks to his family because you'll understand none of it. Well, I don't know. I, I've never heard that. So, but you know, I, I oh, no... that is have... that is terrible. I cannot understand that. <laughs> that is terrible. <laughs> I love that. No, as it, you know, um, Marcus, you know Nick and yours, yeah. yeah I did. I, yeah, I wouldn't uh, say I know them now. No, I, know, <laughs> no, I haven't spoken to them in a, in a really long time. But when we were moving to this uh, house, uh, they were actually here to help us move and yeah. uh, fi fix the house up a little bit before we moved. When, while we were moving in, uh, you stayed here in, in our new house and uh, helped M Marcel and the rest, the guys from his family, with some painting, while Nick went with me to our old apartment to pack up stuff. When I got back with the first load of boxes that we had, Jos came to me, and Jos is Dutch. He's from Zeeland. Yeah. And uh, he speaks regular Abi and Dutch. It's like school language, like you, you'd be learning in, in school, pretty much. And uh, he came up to me and was like, oh, Annika, I know, well, I know what it's like for you now. I was like, what do you mean? I'm Dutch. I have absolutely no clue what these people are talking about. <laughs> <laughs> and, and you ask us as a foreigner to learn your language. Great. <laughs> you, no, but you, it's because they, uh, no, Marshall's but, family, they speak yeah. dialects. So. Yeah. Well, that's the thing. Wherever you go, I mean, Rotterdam has its own dialect. The Hague has its own dialect. Every yeah. province here has its own dialect. Every province? Yeah. And here, where we live, every village has their own dialect. <laughs> Yes, oh, it's that, that bad. I mean, the people from Dorneburg, which is actually the village next to us, they speak differently than the people from Kent. Kent has its own dictionary. Oh, for crying out loud. Why, why would you do this to yourself? Yeah, well, sorry. Sorry? Why are you apologizing? You didn't invent the shit. <laughs> no, I didn't. <laughs> Uh, Connor says, all this ELO stuff, I'm waiting for Marcus to show us his little tank. Okay, here you go. Here's my little tank. Ha ha. I was prepared. Da -da -da -da. Uh, and then we got. Um... Oh, God. No, sorry. <laughs> what? Oh, God. No, when you, oh, God. Yeah, uh, no, when you went like. Da -da -da -da, the first thing that went through my head was. Oh, the theme from Johnson Vegan. <laughs> yes. <laughs> the Jönsson Ligan. You can find that on the Netflix here in the, in the Netherlands, actually. Oh, oh God. I yeah. check that out. Jönsson yeah, you Ligan. should. Oh, what fun. Uh, then we got David Marcus say, how long have you been there, Marcus? Ooh, ah, uh, this is a... That's, right. why, that's why it's embarrassing. Yeah, shut up. Um, <laughs> I moved to the Netherlands. Uh, my first time was in 2008. <laughs> Uh, and then I moved out of the Netherlands yeah. in 2009, and I stayed out for a while, 
uh, I came back to the Netherlands late 2012. So I say from 2013. So that'll be 11 years. And I Did still you only haven't... stay here for a year before you moved out? Yeah. That was longer. Uh, one year, uh, my son got born. Uh, then we moved to Scotland for a bit. Yeah. And then we moved to Dubai and did some work over there. And then uh, moved back to the Netherlands in uh, 2012. 20, yeah, 2012, I think it was. I thought it was, I thought it was longer. Yeah. So 13 years, no Dutch. I, just, I, I don't have the energy. To learn it i am very sorry it is slow things i have energy for but learning a new language is speaking at least two already swedish and english uh and then uh, a bit of german just trying to for my uh, my poor head to get around dutch is it's really difficult for some reason it shouldn't be because they the dutch borrow a lot of words from english and we have a lot of words similar in, in sweden and dutch some reason um i it, it just doesn't stick you know i read uh, russian for two years and that stuck better than than than, than dutch did you know that's just a difficult language the grammar is just horrible so yeah I, I don't get it so um but yeah i can listen to someone and i can understand the gist of it and i can read and i can understand what i'm reading but it's not really clear so I, sometimes i need to use, use like a google translate or something but I, I do get the understanding of what's going on so i have that down at least i'm not completely inept no that but actually that, that that actually you'll pick up reasonably quick coming yeah. from sweden i have to say because there's, there's so many words yeah. that are very similar so you can usually get down to yeah i know what you're talking about i don't know mm. exactly what you're saying but i know what it's about and you're talking about me <laughs> exactly that <laughs> which was my experience in the beginning absolutely because then... this gossipy goddamn villagers here jeez then, then we're gonna have David Markey, and you still haven't learned all the swear words. Well, not all of them, no, but I can say could, and I think that kind of or conquer that that kind of embodies everything you need to know about Dutch swear words. That's actually uh, one thing that I don't like that the Dutch do. They use uh, they use the they use the to swear. Yeah, I think that's silly too. However, <laughs> I I know how to use it, and I can. <laughs> Uh, then we got Hello. Jeff Grant from Mongo in. He says, Hello, Marcus, Dominic, Annika, David, Jeff, uh, Quano, and Connie, Deep Breath, Wayne, and Roth. <laughs> so, cheers, Candy, for showing up. Really much appreciated. Welcome into this um, discussion Bad of house. how to learn uh, to speak Dutch, uh, which everyone should learn, I guess. What do you say, Dom? No, I think. Uh, uh... My English is not the best, but I learn everything from television and from watching movies. I think your English is very good. Yes, and it you, is. If you only learned it from, from watching movies, I would have to say very fair play to you, sir. Well done. Yeah, yeah. very well done. And a lot of people say that to me. Yeah. Uh, I mean, my, bro my brother, he speak, uh English. He was 11. Yeah. 10 years old. He speak every word in English. He watching uh, in that time Cartoon Network. Yeah. And then you had a little uh, cartoon movie with Dexter's Lab. Yeah. Dexter's Laboratory. Yes. Dexter's laboratory. Yes. <laughs> that yeah, was in, so. In Sweden, we start uh, learning English in school from seven years, uh, from from year uh, when we're seven years old, and I started watching because. My dad, God rest his soul, um, <laughs> my mom hated uh, <laughs> anything that had to do with VCRs, getting a VCR. So what my dad did was he bought a VCR, of course. Um, Simply to annoy your mother. Not Probably not to <laughs> annoy my mother, but you know, that's a bonus. And... Um, <laughs> uh, <laughs> Uh, he did this like in 1980, 1981. He got us a VHS, 
and and with that came a uh, hundred uh, he could get a hundred free movies from the rental store doing this and the movies my daddy uh, <laughs> rented or got <laughs> was not like the quality movies it was all the b movies and godzilla and and all that stuff so i that's why i love godzilla today i'm a huge godzilla fan um but yeah that's how i learned english before i went to school right so everything was not dubbed thank god everything was on subtitle uh and uh, you just had to get on with it you know if you want to understand what was so not only did I learn to read, but I, I learned to read properly from the subtitles and listening to the dubbed uh, stuff on the TV. I, it's hard to explain, but yeah, it was fun. Uh, very fun. I think well, we actually voice over way too much today. It's not yeah. that good for the kids. The Why kids need to learn. That? Yeah. No, I, I remember when I was a kid, one of my favorite movies was uh, Mary Poppins. Uh, oh. And we all, we all, I always saw it in English with the uh, subtitles so yeah, we course. practiced reading actually in order to uh, while watching the movie so we learned that pretty quick that's how and later on when i got older and we had uh what do you call it, nieces and nephews and stuff and they'd oh let's watch mary poppins and it was voiced over into swedish and i was like no <laughs> no that's true it was like nightmare I, I couldn't watch it i couldn't watch it seriously i couldn't that's how no, I feel no, no. as well. I, I, I really uh, get uh, shakes from hearing dubbed movies or something like that. Because the thing is, the, the movies are made in a way for someone who understands English, right? So jokes are made in an English way. You know, it's like mm -hmm. it kind of dis takes away from uh, what it actually is. And ah. Uh, no, I can't do it. Uh, I, I I turn it off immediately. If if it's dubbed, I'm not watching it because it's bull bullshit. I Sorry. don't like. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to apologize. No, I just think this dubbing is is ridiculous, especially in Germany. I don't understand why they still do that. <laughs> oh. I watched Magnum PI in Germany. It's ridiculous. We were on, we were on holiday. <laughs> that was just, it was just funny. Yeah. Uh, Connor says, hi, Candy. Have some sweet stuff. Okay. He's flirting with Candy. Great. Uh, Jeff says, you speak English very well, Dom. See? There you go. So, yeah. good job. Uh, Connor says, uh, my English is shit, and I'm from England. <laughs> Worked out how to tea sparkers, so what more do I need? Oh, fuck off, Connor. <laughs> <laughs> That's all you need. <laughs> what? To piss me off? That's all he needs. Yeah, I know. Hey, Merlin. Oh. I got well, doggy, good doggy good. is company, you know. All right. So what I've just noticed is that the the pilot uh, he's supposed to hold the joystick, but he's not very good at it. Aww. He's about I would say about oh four millimeters too high of the joystick if you want to have a good shoulder joint. So that sucks. Um, so I'll probably just skip that and let him. Be a gangster and rest his hand on the joystick instead. Yeah, let's do that. He's cool. You have okay. a gangster pilot. I need something to, to catch the drink and I need to put the pee. Yeah, uh, yeah back, in, back in a f five minutes, I think. Yeah, see you around. <clears throat> Tutso. Tutso. See, I can say that. I said Tutso. Oh, Tutso. <laughs> yeah. Talk Which means, yeah, uh, yeah. See you soon. Well, I said hootsa. Yeah, that works too. That work. That that means like good for you or uh, well done or something like that, right? Yeah. See. Uh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sorry. Some bubbles from my cook. Your cook. My cook. 
What's your cook? Is that Dutch? Cook? Cook? Really? No. Oh. Yeah, actually, yes. Cook is a Dutch word. But that was not what this That means was. cooking. <laughs> means cook means cookie. Yeah. Cook. Cook. Good cook. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> bad cookie. Oh, bad cookie. Well, in English, we know what cookie means. <laughs> All right. So, uh, as you can see, I don't know if you can see it. Uh, my silly pilot now has his hand above the joystick as he's supposed to hold it. I have no way of actually having him grab it, which is a super shame because the hand fits really well. But, you know, that's how it is, I guess. So sometimes things don't fit together that yeah i guess that is true okay kwana says my joystick never did nothing bad to my shoulder it's not that big well uh i have no way of knowing that and i wish i never will um i'm sure it will be great in the end when it grows up <laughs> We can't do that while I drink. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I'll I'll stop saying what goes through my head. Then. No. <laughs> Don't do that. Right. Uh, exactly that one. Um and then he's supposed to have a joystick going in from the fuselage to his hand over here. I'm inclined to actually skip that part because no one's ever going to see it. More joysticks. I will. Uh, yeah, I know. There's a lot of joysticks here. Sorry. It's a very male interpreted plane, I guess. Oh, a joystick. Yeah. I wouldn't mind. Oh, really? <laughs> what a stick that brings you joy yes okay yeah all right moving on <laughs> oh dear me <laughs> oh. all right so now his head has to fit in here somehow he's looking a little bit to the left and that has to go between his arm and his leg so yeah actually looks Oh dear me! All right, look more to the oh fuck off. Okay, this pilot is okay. I haven't built many figures to be colorless. Um, I, I'll, I'll I shame myself on that, but it shouldn't be this difficult. Why would they? Yeah, why would they? Yeah, sorry. Why would they make it so difficult? So now I have this uh, pilot. I'm gluing his head on. And the air hose, <laughs> or the oxygen hose, goes between his leg and the arm, lifts this further up, so he cannot touch the joystick. What are you laughing about? What's going oh, on? So, no, I'm not laughing. I was yawning. Sorry. I'm not laughing. Sorry. I you laughed about my joystick. Uh, have I ever? Uh, no. No. <laughs> oh, dear. Uh, <laughs> I hope when I release my finger, the, the head will, you know, like stay in place. Oh, come on. This is just too much. Let's get out of the cockpit soon. <laughs> God. Anything I say can be turned against me. And I can imagine this, you know, being be, <laughs> Will be taken out of context at the end. Sure. All right. Okay, so we now have a pilot in the cockpit. I don't know if you can see it. Can you please fucking zoom? And if you don't, uh, I don't care. Right. You painted yellow? No, no, no. This is the plastic color. Can you imagine? It looks like shit. <laughs> right? <laughs> Oh, yeah. <laughs> now you're laughing. 
so basically, I paid. I, I just put the cockpit, uh, cockpit fuck, the pilot in place to get his, his shoulder right and his head right. I'm going to remove the pilot and paint him separately. That's what I'm going to do. I just needed oh, some sort okay. of reference for for how he sits in the cockpit because both arms holds a joystick. However, the joystick on his right arm. Oh, now it's focusing. Fuck you. Uh, <laughs> The, the joystick on his right arm doesn't fit uh, in terms of how he holds his hand, right? So it's above the, uh, the joystick. There's one joystick coming on his left side that is f uh, glued to the fuselage. So that's going to be yeah. fun to see if it fits. So I just wanted the pilot to be in some sort of an ergonomic pose before I painted it. Okay, yeah. Yeah. So I do that. So I do that sometimes with uh, with other pieces. With uh, I do never figures in my airplanes. Mm. But, uh, I hate figure painting. Yeah, so do I. However, this aircraft uh, with the theme and all that, I thought, why shouldn't I do a pilot? Because I haven't done that in forty years, basically. Forty-eight years now. Right, now <laughs> you know how old I am. Um, <laughs> So you were one year old when you... Yes, I was one year old, popped out, glued my first guy and fucked off. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I did. <laughs> ah, okay. I explained it. Sorry, yeah, it explains I'm, a lot. I'm turning <laughs> my pictures here. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, welcome back, though, by the way. Oh, yeah. Uh... Oh, here. Yeah. Uh... Quano says, uh, send a pic of my joystick to you, Marcus. Do you dare to look at your DMs ever again? Holy crap. No, I don't. I don't want to even. No, I don't want to see that. I think we can remove him safely from the confine of his. There we go. Yep. So. <laughs> There we go, and this is how he's uh, going to look, apparently. There's a little green man, or yellow. <laughs> yeah, it does look like baby poop. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> so I'm going to put the pilot away. He can sleep and dry. And then I'm going to have to have a look at the cockpit here. Now, it's got a lot of painting needed. So, um, ooh, when do you put in the, uh, ooh, I haven't done that yet. Oh, that's weird. How in the hell? Okay, fantastic. The instrument cluster looks super weird. That doesn't work, now does it? Just let me know when you guys feel like, yeah, there's too much now, I need to go. I'm fine for now. Yeah. Good. If you feel that way, you let us know as well. I will let you know. But at the moment, I'm, I'm this. Aircraft... Otherwise, we suddenly hear. Oh, shut <laughs> up. Don't do that to me. Don't do that live. Please. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I fell asleep once. Yeah. I did. Pretty severely. On a live stream? <laughs> no, no, not, no, no. There's no footage of this. Only the word of mouth, and I declare lies. Lies! <laughs> no, I did fall asleep do, during a um, gaming event. Uh, okay. Yeah. How <laughs> was not entirely... was that possible? <laughs> no, but the fascinating, the, the amazing thing is they even called you on your phone and you didn't there wake up from go. that. No, we had <laughs> was, that, was that game so boring then? No, it, was, it, it, it was it was it was 2 30 in the morning <laughs> 2 30 and i was drunk 
Okay. 2.30 in the morning. Okay. It was a long time ago. Jesus Christ. We were it having a, fun. We were having fun. I fell asleep because I was not sober. And, you know, it's just how it is. Can we leave this now? <laughs> yeah. We have to. <laughs> I know more people than I have fell asleep. I've never fell asleep on a live stream, and I know people have, so <laughs> I'm not the one. Yet. Shush. <laughs> be nice. Actually, they're probably a bit more in danger having me falling asleep at some point. Aww. Well, if I if it's on a Saturday when I have worked in the morning, I actually get up really early. <laughs> oh, sorry to hear. Yeah. Yesterday, um, I had to get up at three thirty instead of four. <laughs> yeah, I I'm in the weekend. Sometimes in the weekend, I'm home alone. Uh, and then uh, it's really late, and the next day I need to walk with a dog. And then oh, I walk no. with dog in the morning, and I go back <laughs> inside. I go sleep in my bed again. <laughs> <laughs> At least you have the luxury to do that. I do not have the luxury to do that. <laughs> you also don't have a dog. No, I still have to get up fucking early because I have to go to work. <sighs> yeah, not in the weekend. No, in the weekend I sleep. Ha ha! The whole weekend. No. I wish I could. Some weekends I wish I could too. When I have my son, I do not sleep. I'm up early. And then when I don't have my son, I'm fucking up early anyway. So I'm not really sure what's going on here. I've noticed that you tend to wake up earlier as you get older for some reason. No. Uh, well, that tomorrow it's Marcel's turn to walk the dog in the morning. So. <laughs> Are you off tomorrow? Off? From work? I mean, yeah. 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 I'm, I don't work on Sundays. I don't know. Not anymore. <laughs> oh. uh, Connor says, chick, chick, chicken lay a little egg for me. <laughs> All right, I'm going to have to have a look. Is he drunk? I don't know. No, this is Quano. He doesn't have to be drunk. Because that was so random. It's... <laughs> <laughs> like metal. <laughs> oh no, he's sending me a joystick pick. <laughs> oh man. You want to see a stick pick? Of course. Yeah. I had one. We had one of those. <laughs> It's like for Atari or something like that. Yeah, that's awesome. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I like the old school uh, Super Nintendo. Mm. Now you're talking. Yeah, I'm not too young. I'm 39. He's not too young, 39 people. Wow. Yeah. You're like a, like a, uh, what do you call it? <laughs> You're a youngster. A youngster, yes, that's the word I was looking for. <laughs> <laughs> right, now we have the cockpit in place. He's still in his 30s, Marcus. I know, shut up. I'm still in my <laughs> 40s. Still. I'm I'm in my forties too. I'm in my forties for <laughs> the next. Shh. Yes, exactly. Forever, I will be in my forties. Yeah, I'm getting old and broken. That's what's going on here. Old and broken. <laughs> yes, busted. I need renovation or something. I don't know. Renovation. <laughs> oh dear. Hip yeah. replacements probably. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> 
starting to feel like, especially some mornings. Ah. <laughs> so, well, this cockpit needs to be uh, um, primed before I paint. I also have this little gr green yellow guy also needs to be primed before I paint. And this is the first pilot of painting since I was like 12. So that's going to be a hoot. All right. <laughs> okay. See if we can get him to fit. Yeah, he fits. Look, this is how it's going to look pre painting. He sits in there, or she, who knows? And, uh, you know, just waiting for some. These days, yeah, who knows? Yeah. Maybe it's non binary. Oh, far. No, let's not go there. <laughs> We're all people. And I don't care. So, what are we going to do next? Well, we're going to clean the fuselage. I think that's a good... Uh, I just said that because that was funny. Because talking about a plastic... It is, it is funny. <laughs> it is, the thing is, it is funny. And I can make tons of jokes of it. But I'm not going to. Unless you want me to. And I will. How about that? <laughs> Jeff, Jeff says, Dom's a spring chicken. <laughs> Yeah, he's a young one. He's a young one. Do -do 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 -do. He's a young one. Oh, dear me. All right, let's do the fuselage. Just to keep... Oh, fuck off the flash. Give me a break. There we go. Let's see... How this turns out, then. It's so weird to put a fuselage together before you get a chance to do the, the uh, like the wheels and stuff. But apparently this one, you don't do that. So it's going to be interesting. So I'm building from the from the instructions. I, I'm not making any sub assemblies. I'm just following the, the the instructions on this one. And we will see how it goes. Right. So this is. So that's a challenge to them. It is a challenge. I mean, usually you, you, some stuff that you build. You can build a side and then paint them and make them ready to assemble. But this one seems a little bit different. I'm not saying it's totally different, but... Are you kidding me? Come on, just fucking fit. All right, so fitment is a slight issue. But this is... How the body looks, the fuselage. For this F yeah, I forgot not uh, uh, a little bit uh, weight in the nose. Yeah, uh, I do have some lead to, to put yeah. in the nose. Yeah, good call out. Thanks, thanks. Them. Yeah, I use uh, always uh, shaking balls for the paint uh, bottles. Yeah, so I I tried. And so I have I built a um, uh, what the fuck is it called? I have okay. I forgot the name. <laughs> I have a kit, and it requires quite a lot of, of weight, and the shaking balls didn't do it. Uh, so I got and bought myself lead, uh, okay. lead, lead strips. Yeah, that you can you can shape them to whatever shape you want, and that works really well for me. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I I did it with uh, blue tech. Yeah. So the and then the, the lead balls in it, and then I blue tacked it in. Yeah, uh, that was the only way to weight it for me. Yeah. So if you get lead strips, that's a lot heavier than the steel balls. Yeah, that's yeah. Uh, you can get it off Amazon. Uh, certain lengths of, of, of this weight. Um, so that's what I'm using, and, and you can do that, and you can shape the lead quite well. 
to to whatever uh, shape that you need to put it in. So uh, let's see if I have it around. Maybe I can show it. Uh, no, that's not it. That's not it. That's, uh, fuck off. Uh, here we go. Oh, that one. Oh, I wish I knew. Oh, my. oh. Hmm, interesting. Well, I can't find it at the moment. That's fantastic. Um, <laughs> but yeah, for me, lead weights. Uh, I like lead weights because they're they're soft and you can shape them. That's yeah, the, yeah. Uh, what what I can do, I have. Uh, uh, I was uh, before this hobby. I was fishing. Yeah, we we have all the little balls. Yeah, and you can push it uh, flat with a clamp. Tongue. Yeah, yeah, exactly right. So fishing yeah. weights are ideal for this. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, they're really good. All right, and uh, that's why I went for lead. We used to use a lot of lead in in the. Uh, for for fishing in in Sweden, uh, like uh, but then becoming environmentally conscious and all that, you shouldn't use lead, blah blah blah, and um, it went on to other materials. But you can still get the the, the, the lead weights or the lead strips, yeah, uh, if you want to, yeah, definitely. Yeah, we have that here too. Uh, people are. Uh... With the lead stuff, it's not yeah. good for the water, and yeah, uh, and Can now, our, yeah, yeah, now do people do a little bit uh, scent on it, yeah, and that makes it different, yeah, you and then it's okay. You were a big fisher at one point, weren't you? Yeah, I uh, I was carp fishing, yeah. You should know about lead weights and stuff like that. So. We we uh, smash uh, uh, lead from ninety grams. Yeah. And I smash one hundred and ten meters. One hundred and ten. Yeah. Wow. I was uh, sometimes I was uh, uh, on a uh, fish area. There's a fish put. Yeah, and I some I, I a couple of times I smashed so hard, I I, I touched the, the the other side. Oh wow! <laughs> On the grass. <laughs> yeah, the ponds here aren't always that big. <laughs> wow! Look at that. That fits perfectly in here. Oh, they did that well. Well, the 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 the, the uh, seat assembly with the pilot. Wow, yeah, that cool. is uh, perfect fit. <laughs> I'm impressed. Oh. <clears throat> Fuck off. There we go. Sorry. And I'm ha happy with the way it way to yeah. <laughs> Oh dear. I don't know. Uh, I wanted to do this because it would bring what I've done a little bit together with so so far. Yeah. yeah. I noticed that when I did uh, when I was working on this one, because I kind of started in the middle here and worked yeah. my way out, and at a certain point I felt like, yeah, really, her face looks kind of weird because it's all colorful. So I had to do this these bit as well. To, to see how it would actually come out and uh, it made a huge difference makes it more I don't know you connect better how it's supposed to look yeah definitely it looks awesome by the way yeah because otherwise my, my usual methods is basically I start with what's in the middle and then I work my way out because when I get to the edges I turn the page and stuff so I don't have to put my hands in what I'm painting so, for example, in painting this bit, now I got the plastic over the over the dude here. Otherwise, I would just turn the painting upside down and paint like do like that. Yeah. But I do that a bit now as well, turning turning it here and there. So. 
Very Jump cool. Out. Yeah. Now we have I would have liked the blue a little bit darker, but that's about as good as I can get it without it getting, yeah. That's fine. I think, I think it looks really good. <laughs> you know, it's, uh, no, it looks good. I think it's fine like that one. Right? Yeah. Then we got Jeff saying, uh, what's the biggest carp you ever caught, Dom? Uh, 20 kilos. Wow. A 20 kilo carp here in the Netherlands? Yes. Wow. I, I look now to my pictures. That's a monster. Yeah. Oh, no. It's a small one. Yeah, but I'm used to seeing the ones in my, my neighbor's backyard. They're not that big. <laughs> uh, okay. No, our uh, who you say that? Uh, boy car. That's a carp. Yeah, the koi carp. Yeah. Koi yeah. carps can be pretty big as well, though. Actually. This one, I can show you this picture. Um, desktop. This picture. Put you on big screen. Give me a second. Oh, that one's fat. Holy shit. This here. fish was uh, 18 kilos. You caught that here in the Netherlands? Yes. Wow. Good job, man. Is it a big yeah. fight? Uh, yes, that is a big fight. Yeah, absolutely. Uh it takes 35 minutes to have this one in your net. Wow, that is impressive, I have to say. And this here in the Netherlands, really important to have a good uh, net where the fish is in. Yeah. Uh, a little bit of water over it. Uh, uh, you have a uh, special stuff for his mount. You have uh, he hold the hook out. Yeah. And then you have a little, we say carp care. <coughs> There's a little bit blue stuff. You yeah. you do it on the place where the hook was. Okay. To, and to, to kind of help healing it. Yes. Because you don't eat this fish, right? No. You, you no. put them back in the... No, you eat this fish, you and the cops see you, you have a problem. Really big really? problem. Yes. Absolutely. I mean, uh, I'm... I'm not a fan of eating carp. I'm just saying uh, it's uh, catch and release that we're talking about. Yes. Yeah. All right. Cool. Wow. That's a big fish. I have to say, I'm very impressed. Yeah. It is really, uh, really big. <laughs> then we got Candace saying, that's a whale. Yeah. That's a big fucking fish, isn't it? Uh, Connor says, koi carp. Is that like a shy fish? Ha uh, uh, ha, you're very funny, Quano. It's coy, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, Jeff says, wow, that is a nice fish. Oh, look at that. He's got some more stuff. Also, the Netherlands? Yeah. Yeah. On the same place. Uh, same water, only another area. Yeah. Uh, this fish was. Uh, Nine kilos. So about eighty pounds. Yes. Uh, a friend of mine, he had uh, a bigger one. <laughs> he had a forty-one kilos. Forty-one ki oh, no, kilos. Forty-one kilos. No, no, twenty twenty-two kilos was forty-one pounds. Wow! Yeah, that's still big. That's huge. David says, yeah. hate to see the size of those chips. <laughs> to go with the fish, yeah. <laughs> now, that's some impressive stuff there, uh, uh, Dom, I have to nice. say. You know? Uh, yeah, that is... Uh... I see these guys sitting next to our canals here in, uh, in, in where I live, and I go like, what the hell are you going to catch? You know? Are you going to eat it? What, what, no. You know? 
because when I fish, I intend to eat it. You know, it's. Uh, yeah. Uh, you can eat. Uh, I don't need carp. I don't need fish that uh, eats in the mud. I don't. <laughs> you can eat a small fish. Uh, uh, maybe you can translate it, Anika. Stekelbaars. Uh, oh, um, ik weet niet of welke vis dat is. Ik moet oh, hem bas, zien. Anders... Bas is uh, bass, right? Yes. Yeah. But then the Dutch one. The Dutch bass. You have different ones. Yeah, pro mo most likely. Yeah. What? Can you show me a picture of it? I go, I go look on the internet for a picture. <laughs> yeah. Now we have in Sweden, we, we do a lot of bass fishing and fishing and, and pike. I don't eat pike either because it tastes like shit. Unless you can uh, do a really good uh, job of uh, cooking it. Pike, what's that? Yeda. Snook. Yeda. Yes. Yeah. Nederlandse yeah. snook. Ah, snook. So, uh, yeah, the pike, um, it's a great fish to fish because it puts up a fight. But for eating, they have in my so opinion, much bones in it, it's ridiculous. Yeah, no, it's not just that, it's how you butcher it, right? Mm -hmm. And what it eats, because what every animal eats, that's what it tastes like. And it, oh, it tastes like shit, to be quite honest. <laughs> you have to really be a good cook. To make a good meal out of a bass. Uh, sorry, pike. Um, abore. This one. Abore. abore. Yeah, abore. Bass. Yeah. Oh, that's a good fish. Because when you when you catch that fish, uh, we can get pretty large one of those in Sweden. Yeah. In the, in, in the inline lakes. And if you uh, put it over a fire right after you caught it, oh my God, that's, that's fucking heaven, man. Okay. Especially grilled abore. Yeah. yeah what people awesome. here do in the Netherlands, a friend of mine, we catch a couple of this and he did it in the stove. Yeah. Uh, he make them uh, open. Just everything out. All the darms yeah. and all that stuff. You, you but butterfly it, right? You, you splay it out. Yes. Right? Yeah. Yeah. And then he do it uh, uh, citroen. Yeah. Lemon. Yeah, then you do a uh, couple of uh, sniff uh, salt. Yeah. And then you do it in uh, aluminium folie. Yeah, and lots of butter. Yes. A <laughs> That's not, what I would do, not, lots of, a lot of butter. <laughs> not too much. He do it a little bit, yeah. and I do it in the stove. And that was, he said it was really good. I, I eat no fish. <laughs> <laughs> it's a really nice fish. I mean, in Sweden, when you're camping and you can pull up, pull that fish up and, and a good size, and 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 you do it over the fire, just like you say, with some lemon and butter and stuff like that. It's an absolutely beautiful fish to eat. Okay. My dad used to smoke them. Yeah. Carlos says, "How much shit would someone have?" To eat to know for sure that a fish tail that a fish tastes the same. Connor says that's a shit joke. Sorry, I don't know. You know, it might, I, it, I don't know how to answer that. <laughs> yeah, and you have uh, you have pike. Yeah, and you I love have uh, 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 snook bass. Yeah, I love fishing for one. pike. I love fishing for pike. Pike is like a really cool fish to 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 fish for if you want to fight. My mom knew how to cook pike well. Uh, it it wasn't really my kind of fi uh, fish to eat. However, as a fight when you're fishing, that is a really good uh, fish to 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 go for. It is a fun um, fish to catch. It's yeah. a fun fish to catch because you can, they can be really big really big if you're if you're happy um so i i fish for like uh lake tr uh, lake trout and i fish for 
uh, creek trout. I, I'm not sure how to translate this. It's called har in Swedish. It's a really good fish to to like uh, fill up with potato and onions and just wrap it in foil and put on the fire. You know, it's awesome fish to eat because that's what I fish for. I fish, I fish to eat. You know, that's what I do. Well, yeah, I don't fish to to, to catch and release. Me, <laughs> my when my dad had the boat, we went on holiday and oh, with with that this one, one, we we did a lot of fishing. Ooh. This one you can eat it too. Yeah, I mean you can eat every fish. That that's a good fish, definitely. No, I I like no fish. I eat it not well. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry to hear that. I'm sorry to hear that. <laughs> Some fish are really good. The pike I don't eat because it tastes like shit. Uh, in my opinion, it tastes very muddy. I, if anything tastes muddy, I don't eat it. However, the ba uh, the bass that we showed before, har, uh, it, uh, trout, you know, things like this. Oh, yes, I do. But it has to be seasoned, and a lot of butter and, you know, stuff like that. Yeah, also give okay. us good at fish. He was, yes, I know. We did. We my did. Uh, my mom's uh, husband, he uh, likes to barbecue fish, and he's really good at it. Yeah, we did it at your uh, your mom's place. I don't know if you yeah. remember. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. He mixes his spices very well. He does. It's all about how you season. And what kind of fish it is that was kind of funny he dug out some fish uh, from the freezer that he had caught once and uh, you know saved and uh, mm -hmm. just <laughs> filleted them up and put lots of spices and stuff inside and then he took them out put them on the barbecue and he was sitting there like poking the <laughs> fish on the barbecue <laughs> with chickens walking all around <laughs> <laughs> my mom had chickens as well yeah. Wow. Yeah, that was a long time ago in the a little bit history of my grandmother. Her her dad was uh, a farmer, and then you had rabbits, and there was no food. And then you eat your rabbit. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Rabbit is very good meat, by the way. You know, it's a, it's a, a very it's it's a very lean meat, but and so you have to kind of season it very well. But it's not a bad piece of meat. You know, it's it's good meat, good eating meat. Yeah. This is not a vegan channel, so we can talk about this, just to let people know. <laughs> <laughs> Because I understand having a rabbit, which is very cute, but a lot of people uh, is, uh, grow meat rabbits, what they call it. It's big rabbits that has a lot of meat on them for cooking reasons. Yeah. Right? So, yeah. yeah. It's not just a pet. I'm sorry. Sorry. <laughs> but that was a long time ago. That was in the 1920s, uh, 22. My mm. grandmother was born in one, 1922. So that was uh, before the World War II. Yeah. Jeff says, most if not all fi uh, game fishing is now controlled and you and you need to hold a license. Yes. Here in the UK. And you need that is, uh, uh, as well here in the Netherlands. And I think yeah. also uh, in every country, especially also in Sweden, you need to have a license to fish, but it's very easy to get. You just go to a, like a tourist information area. You can buy like 24 hours or a week or whatever. Not very expensive. Uh, just get that and, and uh, then you're good to go. Right. It's, it's just to maintain the, the population and stuff like that. So no worries. Yeah. Here in the Netherlands, is the, the rules are uh, different. Uh, you have uh, special places uh, with waters, and then you need uh, the papers for 
that area uh, and that place. Yeah. And then you get fishing there. You not uh, and uh, the papers for that area. Then you can buy a day a day thing. Then you pay for one day. Yeah. And exactly, you can fish right. there. Yeah. A day, day pass, sort of, yeah. Yeah, like a day pass, yeah. Yeah, and I was uh, a time I was that I fishing was uh, I did the control the people on that cart. Okay, did you did you actually go after them and, and check their license? Yes. And did they have it? Uh, yes. Oh, uh, well, that was on uh, that the picture that you saw with the big fish mm -hmm. that is uh, in Enkhuizen. Ah, and that uh, uh, club uh, have uh, his own people that walking on that water mm. one time a day, uh, and then you check the people that they are fishing. Fun. I want your papers. And then he showed it. That's no problem. And some people, you know the people there. So you're yeah. walking, you see the people, you know that he have it. No problem. Yeah. For the next Definitely. time, you know? Yeah. And sometimes you do a checkup. It's like Jeff says, uh, yes, Marcus, to prevent overfishing. Yeah, I know. Uh, I yeah. understand and I get it. Definitely. Anyway, I think I'm I'm pretty much done here tonight. How yeah, me too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess. <laughs> so let's see what you guys have been uh, accomplishing for the last oh, a long time. <laughs> <laughs> let's start with Dom tonight. Uh, let's see what you have been up to. Hey, look at that guy! Hello, guy! Hello, dude! What kind of color? Hair. What color do you use for his uh, uniform? Oh, good question. Um, green ochre. Green ochre. Okay. The seventy nine fourteen. Okay. Good to know. And I use this one. Ten yellow for his face. Ah, there you go. And this one is for his uh, shoes. Come oh, on, come. focus. Yeah, focus. Come on, focus. Ah! What's it called? Flat? Uh, flat brown. Flat brown. Okay, got it. Uh, and his hat is uh, Russian uniform World War II. Ah, nice. And I did it a little bit lighter with a little bit white. Looking good, Dom. Well done. I'm looking forward to see that diorama. Definitely. Yeah. 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 Most interesting. Uh, that one. takes a time. The diorama is not easy to build. No, it's not. So he's got a green shirt uh, or a green uh, coat. Yeah. So yeah, he, uh, he have no, uh, he have a short pants too. Ah, okay, got it. Just, yeah, he is in the fever gold. You see him uh, almost not. Hmm. Only his top. <laughs> um, and he is on the motorcycle, and he is on the top of the fever gold. So you have yeah. these uh, um, holders for, for for the guys, right? Yeah. How? Homemade. You have two pieces. Yeah. You do it together. Yeah. You drill holes in it. Yeah. And you do a bolt in it. Yeah. And the other side, this one, the moor, we say moor. And then you can twist it open and drill a hole in his feet huh. and do a little bit uh, metal wire. 
Very clever. Thank you. That's awesome. Yeah, I learned that. I learned that from a uh, friend of mine. And That's he told cool. me that. Yeah. yeah. I have uh, I have seven of eight of these ones, the holders. Yeah. Only not really straight. You know, you see one. He stands a little bit to the front, and he mm. stands a little bit to the back. <laughs> <laughs> it's not really flat. You see here the difference. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, the, the idea is really good, you know, because then you can count yeah. it uh, good. I, I like yeah, it. but you hold it in your hand. Yeah. You can... That's yeah. really cool. Thanks, Tom. Yeah, no problem. All right, let's see what Annika has been up to for the last couple of hours. <laughs> oh, look at that. I'll turn it so it's better at that. There you go. Yeah. yeah. Very nice indeed. You know, it's, um, I love the light. The lighting effect is, is fantastic. Yeah, but now it kind of makes sense, doesn't it? It made sense before you started. It's awesome. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just Now you're just sucking up. <laughs> nah, I'm, I'm quite happy with it so, uh, so far. Yeah. No, I have I to say, I'm, I've gotten this far now, and I'm happy with it. So now I'm, 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 I'm actually trying... starting to get worried. I'm gonna fuck up your idea. Or the something. thing, the thing is, I'm <laughs> trying to say something clever about. I'm looking at. It, I was like, yeah, no, I got nothing to say about this because it looks, it looks great. You know, it's, uh, it's fantastic. Yeah, uh, a, wo a woman that uh, lives here downstairs, not anymore, my in that time. Make one picture for me for a friend of mine. His dog was passed away, and we let uh, his hat let it make on the paper. The same thing what Annika do. Yeah. And yeah, and we did it in a uh, picture frame, and we give it to him as a gift, and he was really happy with it. <laughs> yeah. Mm. So now that's this is what I've been doing. Yeah, this, sorry. This, yeah. Uh, <laughs> I got, this I got blown here. away a little bit. Sorry. <laughs> oh, we got David Murphy <clears throat> saying the River Severn was well known for salmon fishing with cane pod along uh, the riverbanks. Then we got Jeff saying, looking fantastic, Dom. Right? Yeah. And then we got Jeff saying, uh, cool idea, Dom, about the holders. And then we got Jeff saying, uh, totally awesome, Annika. And David saying, that's very nice, Annika. So, yeah, great stuff, great stuff. No, I'm uh, glad you like it. Yeah, uh, what, I'm not really sure. Uh, what have I accomplished this evening? Well, uh, I've done some detailing on the, uh, the tank. Uh, need some stuff doing, of course, before I do a gloss coat and weathering. I've done some... Uh, stuff for my F-16 Idol Masters. Uh, that's about it. I compared to these two, I've done not done a lot to be quite honest. Uh, <laughs> that's about it. <laughs> yeah, but you've been dealing with very tiny thingies. Tiny thingies, yes. And those I have. those can take a lot of time because they're difficult to hold on to. Well, it's just that. But I also know what I have to do because I'm going to have to 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 prime these bars before I paint them. And I can't do that here because it'll be very noisy oh. and dusty and stuff like that. So. Oh. Sorry. Anyway, anyway, I think this is the end of tonight's stream, I think. So we, let's go up to Upcam and uh, say goodbye. There we go. Beard and all. Hey, there's Annika. And Dom. Hey, Lou. <laughs> anyway i would like to thank everyone who's joined us tonight thank you very much it's been great uh we had uh, some fun uh Annika did her uh painting on the on the uh, predator we had dom doing his figure painting and we had me doing i don't know what but i did Stuff. something i'm pretty sure um <laughs> yeah <laughs> i would like to give you guys the chance to say good night so dom your turn. Uh, yeah, thank you very much for the uh, the what you say for the 
in Dutch uh, uitnodiging. <laughs> Invitation. Yeah, don't worry. Invitation, about yes. Anytime. Okay, don't. thank you very much. You're, you're always okay, welcome thank to you. the stream. Well, yeah, I know. <laughs> th th thanks to everyone for wanting to come and hang with us tonight and uh, um, make funny comments and jokes and all kinds of ch chitter chatter in the chat. That's always nice. So uh, I've enjoyed e this evening and uh, till next week then. Till next week. Next week we will have uh, Annika, of course. Uh, I don't know, Dom, can you join next uh, next Saturday? No, I think not. I had to quit with Daniel this weekend and then a couple weekends <laughs> not. <laughs> That's fine. No problem at all. However, if you ever feel the, uh, the urge... Marshall promised you to show up. I was, I was getting to that. Uh, <laughs> anyway, Dom, if you feel like it and can, always feel uh, that you can uh, join in. Uh, and then we have yeah. Marcel joining next weekend. He, that's what he said, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so let's hold him to that. That would be fun. Yeah, um, he, should, he should stick to that because then he has an excuse to continue building his thing. <laughs> yeah, and the thing is, he's he's done a really good job. So yeah. for 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 a first time, not the first time, but like it's everyone a, it's else, a, it's, uh, the first uh, build of a long time. I, I would like to say that, right? Like I think in the in the time I've known him, I think this is only like the third model or something that he's built. Yeah. And the thing is, it's not bad. It just needs finishing. That's all. And uh, it would be cool if you could uh, join next Saturday. So, yeah. I'm looking forward to that. Yeah. Anyway, guys, uh, thank you very much for joining this Saturday. Uh, it's been fantastic, as always. <laughs> thank you, Arno. Nighty night, sexy Santa. Oh, fuck off. Uh, <clears throat> sorry. Um... <laughs> What was I? Oh, <laughs> saying goodbye. Yeah. All right. Um, <laughs> Distracted right away. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It just goes. Um, anyway, thank you very much and good night. Have a good one. Nighty night. <laughs> Dear me. Nothing is working at the moment. Oh, no, I'm trying. I'm, I'm inching my mouse over to the button. Let's see if I can do this. And. Doi! Doi! <laughs> bye bye.